22. What's up, folks? Welcome to the show. Salty Nerd Podcast Tuesday live event. How you guys doing? Thank you all for being here, you salty, salty nerds. We've got the chat already bouncing. Anthony Mark is here. Wendy's here. Real old movies. Some chick named Pussy in Bio. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Judah? How you doing today? I'm you good. Want, how you can doing? you explain what your I essay? don't even remember how. I don't remember how it, it came up either. It came up, and it was in one of our members' things that we did yeah. earlier today. Yeah. And I, I was how. and I was like, holy shit, I need to. So it's Tron, name. the Tron membership yeah. thing. Okay, yeah. so if you're a go to saltynerdclub.com, sign up for the membership. We had a, at some point in time, we had a conversation and Jude was like, oh my God, I'm changing my screen name to Pussy and Bio. You know, somebody said something <laughs> about like bots and they're in the, like, they we, have. We were talking about bots within the cyberspace of Tron. Yeah, just let them pay for it. <laughs> and and I, I said, I said, you'd be a porn bot. And then I said, mm. you know, Pussy and Bio. And I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. That's, yeah. That's who I am from now on. After I crunch my ice into the microphone. Yeah, you're good. What's up, V? How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm okay. I, I'm a. Uh... I need a big box to just stick my head out of, you know, like the, like Dumont and Tron. Yeah. Like, I still got Tron on my brain. Yeah. Yeah. We had a great conversation about Tron yeah, today. Yeah. That's going to be available for our members only. Realizing that you're the old gray haired bearded guy. You are the old program. Bro. And I'm the old program. Yeah. Kind of messes me up. A I was bit. looking around for shit in my house to come in as a Benny Gesserit today. Oh, no. It's <laughs> just got like a crazy yeah, big hat. Like an Afghan. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. With like the, the thing in the front of your face. Mm -hmm. Dude, Tattoos. Jessica looked freaking rad. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about Dune here in a little bit. Katie's is also joining us, the frustrating producer of the show. Frustrating or frustrated? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah both. <laughs> true. Probably both. Both are true. Um, I j just want to give everyone watching a heads up. So the last couple of streams, we've had some technical issues where uh, StreamYards can't handle all of our fancy equipment, apparently. They just can't handle us because it's so can't. fucking cool. Yeah, pussy and bio. <laughs> um, and uh, so we're trying out some different stuff to make sure that, like, the stream doesn't get interrupted like it has, like, the last two or three times we've done it. Um, so if you guys notice that our audio suddenly drops out, um, just let us know in the chat. And They're always that, really good about that. Yeah, yeah. But, but that means that we're probably about to, like, you know, freeze up in the mm -hmm. stream and then it's just gonna be v's face yeah so yeah you're welcome for that these huge under a giant under head you look right up my nose yeah. yeah exactly so but be patient we'll get that you know fixed and, and back on the stream if that should happen but uh, we're trying our best to figure out what the issue is mm -hmm. and so if you guys notice anything feel free to let us know in the chat all right now that that's out of the way our goal as always is to get 10 memberships if you are a youtube member you get special access to a ton of different stuff so join up and uh, if you gift memberships, you will grab one of those gifted ones for free, and you'll hang out with us for a month. I do encourage you to re-up that, though. Yeah. Make sure it doesn't lapse you because you're, you you're going to miss out. You're going to miss out. Some so cool shit. And uh, we should also point out that we're now doing something different on the Patreon side than we are on the YouTube side. Yes. Yeah, we're doing our old school movie I reviews. I am loving I'm so back that. at it. I'm so back yeah. at it. I miss our movie reviews. Me too. Watch a movie a week. And come I'm in. Real fucking excited for the next one. What are we you doing are next? Too. Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, yeah, that's original. right. Yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street. I've yeah. never seen it. Yeah. And so sign I, up. We're going to watch it's it. It's going to be a doozy. Yeah, it's going to be We dope. watched uh, 1982 Tron. Yeah. Yes. For today. The yeah. members will be getting here next, next week. week. Yeah, next month. Are we doing, still doing Mondays for uh, releases? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, we are. So basically, <laughs> Patreons get our movie reviews going forward. And for the YouTube people, uh, because we can't do copyright stuff on YouTube, um, they're getting uh, member streams twice a month mm -hmm. and then members only videos. We're doing a member stream today after, after this one. This stream. Yeah. There's going to be a spoiler filled review of yeah. Doom 2. I don't know what to say while we talk about it for it's this. Okay. It's good. It's good. Because leave them, without, leave them, yeah. Leave them wanting more. You, you know, know what I mean? I'm a book nerd. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm going to want to talk about what <laughs> was you, in the book look, and what wasn't dude, in the did book. I, did I show you that yes, meme? You did. Oh, yes, it was so funny. And fuck you for that. <laughs> What's up? Sincerely, from my heart. Yeah. How do we do it? I appreciate that. How do we do a spoiler free review? Uh, did you like it? Of, of a book that came out 50 fucking Not a years book. Ago. Not a book. The movie. Everybody knows what happens. Yeah. Well, they changed some things, I think. I don't know. I've never read I mean, the ending's the same in. All 14 iterations of watch of this thing. Spoiler alert. So. It, it... <laughs> no, you're not wrong. It's know. based off a book. Everybody knows how it ends. Yeah. But Jude's got, Jude's got thoughts and she's going to fill us in. So much to say yeah. that I can't say. So we're going to, we're going to do Dune spoiler free. So if you haven't seen it yet, if you haven't gotten around to it this weekend, go check it out. It's definitely worth watching. Feel like um, spoiling things. Don't, don't. I can't guarantee I'm not going to say anything. Uh, well, you know, I, I don't guarantee that you don't do anything. 
That's it's true. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no one might come out of my mind. You are a wild card. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, who knows what's going to sure. happen? Well, his five middle name is I don't guarantee nothing. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Safety not guaranteed, right? Um, so we're going to be talking about Dune. Uh, we're going to keep it spoiler free for a little while. And then we're going to be talking about uh, some, some Helldiver stuff, which I am deep. I really want to hear about that. <laughs> I am deep I'm into this excited. game. Oh yeah. my God. It yeah. has taken over my life. So we'll talk about that as yeah, well. You're kind of ridiculous. It's get, get, you're annoying I get, me. I get texted. You're annoying me because you're not. At night. 12.30 at night. Yeah, man. I've been at work all day long. Yeah, bro. In front of my wall, literal wall of monitors. <laughs> and this motherfucker is like, dude, we got to log on and fight for democracy yes. and freedom. Yes. I'm like, bro, you need to fuck. Plant bro. those freedom I seeds, tired. motherfucker. <laughs> I am tired. <laughs> I'm in bed, <laughs> dude. I've I'm been. Up. To, I just want to watch a movie. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about. It. I'm, I'm so into this freaking game. It's ridiculous. It's actually annoying my friends. Uh, yeah, we have one more thing to do. Ruining all of your relationships. Ruining all my. That's how you know it's good. <laughs> we had we had uh, we had about 12 minutes between our our thing earlier in this live stream, yeah. and he's all I gotta go play a game. I'm gonna go catch a game real quick. So he's like playing in there. Yeah, <laughs> that's his little bump of coke. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. It gets me in such a I'm better just gonna mood. Do a little bump. I'm just gonna do through. a little bump to get me through the podcast. I had a bad day yesterday. We're we'll playing some hell divers. I'll be you right back. You know what I need right now? I just, I just need a little, <laughs> a little bump. bump. Just need a little bump. I'm gonna go destroy some nests. <laughs> a little bump of freedom. A little bump of freedom. Bump of freedom. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I need a t-shirt. A little bump of freedom. Yes. yes. Oh, with a little pile of white. With a yeah. spoon. Yes. And like a little, a little like little American flag on it. I can make that oh. happen. Yeah. I can make that happen. Yeah. <gasps> New shirt idea. Little bump of freedom. I've got that, and I've got the Sasquatch IPA locked and loaded, ready to go onto the website. So look, go to saltingerstore.com for some merch. Those two shirts will be there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little bump of little freedom. Little bump of freedom. I love it. Bump. <laughs> little bump of freedom. Pussy in bio. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> pussy in bio. <laughs> yes. Did someone say my Did name? Did somebody call me? I quit. I, uh, I love changing my name to things. That are offensive. Inappropriate. That are inappropriate. Yeah. Like the redheaded daft cow. That's amazing. It's not appropriate anymore. So right. I needed a new name. Pussy and bio. Pussy and bio. Done. Yeah. DM oh. me. You immediately you were like, oh, I'm changing my name. And yeah. you yeah, legitimately 100%. did it. 100 percent As soon as I'm somebody sends excited. you a dick pic, you're gonna get upset at it. <laughs> you don't have to be, like listen, you don't have to ask for it and you don't have to have a name like Pussy and Bio. <laughs> I used to save them in my phone as people's contact pictures. Whoa. I yeah, believe that. women just get dick pics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't get tit pics. You know what I mean? Like nobody's like <laughs> you want a little because I'd rather you do it in the house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, last housekeeping thing: go to Apple Podcasts and give us a rating. We are available there on audio only, uh, and it's a great place to listen to us if you're uh, traveling. Well, we're also trying to get accredited <clears throat> by Rotten Tomatoes. Are we though? Yeah, it's, it's about that time. Give us, just give us five stars. I, yeah, pull over. Give I, us five stars. I'd rather. I'd Please, rather team. You. I'd rather team up with fucking critic list because that's the place where you go to that's review right. movies. Well, I mean, honestly, it's about the, the, to be the place. The, the, the Rotten Tomatoes things would just be to just a badge. It's a feather in the hat. Just, but just, I don't know if I want that feather. It would just, you know what I mean? To, uh, I'll take a feather. Counter the balance a, a little bit. Yeah. You know, it could get us press access to a yeah, bunch of places. That. Though. That's a thing. Maybe that's legitimate. Yeah, give us a five star review on Apple Podcasts. It helps us out. And uh, finally, go to saltingyourdiscord.com. I have a great time in the Discord. I did live stream a Helldiver session on Discord. Nobody, really? You did? You I, played Helldivers? I did. Shocker. Um, Shocker. Listen, man, I don't dog on you <laughs> for playing your stupid freaking 2D games that you play. Right? <laughs> what are you so mad and about? By the way, mad about you, you're mad. You, I can see your jaw. You're just like, <laughs> When you guys do that shit, quit tagging every fucking buddy. No, I don't, don't want to get an alert <laughs> at midnight. I'm like, oh, shit. What is it? Oh, everybody okay. must know. We're laying the, seeds of democracy. I guess unsubscribe from the gamer channel. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's what it's there anyway. For. <laughs> uh, what a what a way to sell the Discord channel. Yeah, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the first topic for today is Dune. Spoiler free. We're gonna talk about it. We mean you went on a date. We did. We had a date. Watched it last night. Did you get the popcorn bucket? Oh, no, did you get a popcorn wrong, bucket? Wrong theater. He, he stuffed something on the bottom of it, and I'm reaching for popcorn. I was like, what is this? It's my gonna it's joystick in the middle of this thing. No. I, didn't want to get, I, I'm, I didn't want to go to the AMC theater because I knew I'd spend 30 bucks or whatever it is on that stupid popcorn yeah. dauber. Oh, on that, the, the, I, I'd the probably, vagina bucket? I'd probably want to stick something in it. Just, <laughs> it's, it, it, looks like, it looks like a like a, a trap. Like you get in, but you can't get out. Yeah. You know? yeah. That popcorn bucket with yeah. the, the, the... I bet those teeth tickle. When you point it at him. Bro, they freaking raped that poor worm in this movie. <laughs> I felt so bad for that thing. I was like, oh my God, that's a penis. 
<laughs> it's just like a, it's a worm. Pe- yeah. Penis in the movie. Yeah. Penis in the movie. And they remember they, they shoved the thing down it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> Ugh. ever had a catheter? It's, it's, kind of <laughs> it's kind of what happens. Anyway, I thought that was going to be funny. Why funnier. does Nadia think I'm always mad about stuff? Nadia, you are always I'm not mad about things. anything. You are upset no. that I played Hell Divers in between our break. Anyway, oh, dude. I don't give a shit. Let's talk about dude. So you and I went. It was fun. You guys went earlier? You guys went separately. We went separately. Separately. I went with Nadia. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I liked uh, Chris, uh, Nadia's husband's uh, take on the movie where he was like, beige the movie. <laughs> mm. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's a good movie. There's so many slow-mo shots of just Timothy Chalamet trying to look like... Like uh, no, no, no. Like intimidating. Yeah, thank you. Imposing. And I'm like, dude, you're 90 pounds yeah, soaking wet. You do not look intimidating. <laughs> he's, he's all more, like, he's more intimidating than Zendaya. He's like, walk. Well, she has well, the same body type. <laughs> I, don't know about that. I Zend- think they're in the same size. <laughs> yeah, they wear the same still same suit. size still suit. And um, Zendaya just has you know runny bitch face this entire the time. whole time. I, I can't. Mm-hmm. You, know, like, you guys know me. I'm a, I'm a Zendaya person. She makes everything she's in right one star better. Right. Not this one. Not this one. No. She just doesn't. I just she was. I feel like she could have been anybody. It's like it's like I I her and her little friends like talking shit all the time. Oh, you said it during the movie, and I was like, God, it's like, spot on. Go ahead. You, you know, yeah. and then her and her constant just the smile. Can you just smile once in the movie? <laughs> yeah. No. Can you not be like it's a serious angry, movie? Angry kid from the hood. No, but you said it when when they were white guys there's, taking over your there, There's a scene, I, I just, right? There's a yeah, scene where they're, they're sitting down, and this is not really a spoilers, but like yeah. there's a scene, and Ch- Timothy Charlemagne and is like cool dude what swagger walks over and zendaya and her little groupies are hanging out and they're all like they start like nipping at him like a bunch of gen z's like yeah, t- trying exactly. to talk down to somebody and i was like oh no like look at yeah. this, these yeah. kids are gonna learn yeah yeah you're a fascist man <laughs> you don't even know the government's all a hoax and it's like, it's like that kind of like i was like dogging was, at somebody for need, no reason they needed to have dreadlocks and a fucking yeah. hacky sack yeah and playing over in the <laughs> Around. Yeah, like, with on. dreadlocks. Yeah. One of them's got dreadlocks for no reason. Yeah, man. They just look dirty as fuck. <laughs> you guys are just like members of the establishment. <laughs> Did you guys notice the mansplaining bit? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Hard yeah. to miss. Hard yeah, to miss. it's hard to miss all that stuff. There was so much in this movie that was just movie Hmm. none of this is in the original story (laughs) everything that they did with chani's character was completely changed from the book um who's chani's chani is that that's the nias chani is fucking ride or die yeah she's like she's like oh while you were napping i killed a dude for you just just so you know like chani (laughs) Chani is like standing behind him with her fucking chris knives like that's my fucking man you don't fuck with him and if you come for him you're gonna get me, and then you have to go tell people that I fucking killed she's you. She's all like bitchy with him, like no, almost the whole time. None of that is in the. She's all like, "Oh, you freaking is- white male." <laughs> and also, that's not in the fucking book. It's not brown people and this white savior come. Yeah. Th- that's not in the fucking story. No. The yeah. movie made it that. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Ask me if I liked it. <laughs> Did you like it? Jim? No, fuck no, I fucking hate this movie. <laughs> I thought it was overindulgent. And so, I had to wait an entire fucking day for him to watch it. So you so could vent? Yeah, because he was like, tell me about it. Don't spoil it, but tell me about it. And I was like, fuck you, I can't. I can't. Go see it so I can talk to you again. And I was right. like, but you have to feel the same way about so, it yeah, as I do, or I'll be mad at and you. And then I came home, and I was like, oh, man, I really like that movie. Yeah, and I was like, like, I, uh, I was irrationally <laughs> mad at him. Yeah, well, you should be mad at him. Because, uh, you didn't yeah. like it? Um, no. No. I know you did. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so so last, week, <laughs> last week I made the comment about how this one pans out. The yeah. two movies together, part one and part two, right. might crack my top ten. Whoa. Because you like the first one that I much. I really like the first one. I do too. Yeah. This movie, I felt like I was watching a completely different movie. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's like Villeneuve like pulled the old bait and switch thing. I'm going to make a really cool sci-fi like in the first one, and then in the second movie, he's artsy, gonna fartsy. rape us with fucking love. Yes. Okay. Yes. With his bullshit artsy fartsy <laughs> up close on the face. Oh, and, bro. And you're sepia. The slow motion. And you're slow motion. You're just like and walking. You're, and you're. It's like ah. Through the sand. What are you doing, man? How and about how everyone's um, whispering because we need to whisper, and then one guy's always like screaming, screaming. something. Dude, Timothy Chalamet's intimidating voice is like, bro, chill. Sweet. Nobody chill. else is like. Everybody else is like. This is an important conversation we have to have. It's at this level, right? Yeah. We have to have this important conversation. Timothy Chalamet, because he's not physically intimidating, he has to, like, raise his voice. It reminded me of of uh, uh, that freaking shithead from Game of Thrones. What's his name? Um, uh, Joffrey. 
Oh. It reminded yeah. me of Joffrey. Yeah. I am the king. And then Tywin's in the back, like, any man who says you must be the king. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got that vibe from Timothy Chalamet, and I like I like him in a lot of stuff. He's he's a solid actor. He was in uh there's some movie with him. He's like the the prince of England or something like that. And he goes to war with French. I, I like that movie. He's a really good actor. But for this, the way they portrayed his character is like, I have to be yeah. the man. And he's like, he's overcompensating because he's so skinny. <laughs> and it's, like, it's like, bro, just. You know what? You're, um, you're cool, man. Just I, chill. <laughs> Austin Butler is also a very skinny dude, but he actually. Which one is that? Um, Fade. 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 Oh, he actually yeah, yeah, yeah. came off as intimidating. That dude was yeah, no, yeah. scary as fuck. The Harkonnens yeah. were great. Yeah, Harkonnens was the, the best Har part of this movie. The Harkonnens yeah. stuff was the best part. I, I do want to say this. Uh, Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Like Batista was a little over the top. Well, his character's kind of dumb. But though. he's just like big raid raid. Yeah. That, smashing his head, people's heads. That's He's, kind of his character, right? Yeah, it's, it's, isn't isn't kiss my converse? Isn't uh, but uh, D Batista's character? What's his name again? Raban. Raban. He's he's a bit of an idiot, but he's like a hothead right. idiot. Right. He any issues with He's it. Just, and yeah, and I think he portrayed that very well. Yes. Yeah. Like, but Batista was fine. But uh, a fake. You don't hire but, Batista Aust to be like the CEO the of your yeah. company. <laughs> Austin Butler killed awesome. this movie. Awesome. Freaking yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, he and I great. the Harkonnens were the coolest I've ever seen, like an yep. alien species. Like I got like, um, uh, like the engineers from the alien prequel movies uh, with Ridley Scott were like all pale white. Mm -hmm. They're kind of weird looking, but they're human, but they're a little funky. Uh, I love that aspect. I love the the colorization. The, the dude, the cinematography yeah. in the oh. movies. Yeah, they went all like that beyond that reproach. Reverse, like, yeah, kind of thing. yeah. It's like a it's like a negative, like a photo negative. Yeah, it was super cool. And very, the, very the, cool. And I liked how they explained it too, though, because they explained it. If you watch it, if you pay attention, mm -hmm. it was it's, the, it's how the light comes off from their black sun. Of yes. 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 Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. super okay, cool. That's His fucking black teeth creeped me oh, out. So creepy. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Harkonnens were dope. I yeah, do want to say. Little girlfriends. Yeah. I do want to. I kind of like a like a, like a Dracula vibe from that, right? Yeah. Dracula and his three witches. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did want to say that I th they just completely ripped off uh, Jovanovsky. Jovanovsky? Jodorowsky. Jodorowsky. Like, this movie, um, after coming off fresh off of that documentary on Netflix, Jodorowsky's Dune, watching this now, I'm like, oh, bro, they just took every, I mean, every freaking idea he had. And they were so just did, like, so did Lynch. Yeah, but I yeah. mean, like, remember when when think, was I like, there was... I want to see inside the uterus, <laughs> and I'm going to rape the uterus with the love, <laughs> and it's going to be this, and it's going to be cameras going to be inside, and I'm like, oh shit, they did all. Of them. Well, they did that in Lynch too. Did they? Yeah. I mean, that, not this the, well. The, the fetus growing inside the womb. That's that's. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. They did really good in this movie. Yeah. It it came out freaking dope. That was creepy and weird and like, yeah, that's what it. Would I look mean, like. there's it wasn't new though. There was nothing new. No, Oh, there's nothing new to this movie. No, no. I mean, but it was cool. I uh, <laughs> looked cool. <laughs> this movie made me like the Lynch version. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! And you know I don't like that. Okay, I, I can't That's agree crazy. with you on that one. That's a hard pass. <laughs> My favorite character isn't even in it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get there for the spoiler. It's, weird, it's yeah. weird to me some yeah. of the some of the decisions that he made because you know we watched the sci-fi version and we watched yeah. the Lynch version. We watched the Yodorowsky thing, and you know it was like the relationship between Johnny and and Paul mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just didn't seem like totally they, they, unbelievable. It, 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 yeah, they it, seemed it, like it, they didn't it, like it each was, other. It wasn't there. Like Zendaya, uh, the I, whole I, time I, Zendaya was like, Ugh. you know, because according, you know, to the other one, they have a child. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, they love each other. That passes away, and they they love each other. Well, well and, there and, there were two issues here. So first of all, they they shortened the time span. Yeah. Of, of the ending of this, and uh, it made everything like this is what we were talking about with fucking invasion, where they could have like put in a a time lapse but they didn't and in this well, one there is one in the book there's like three years in between part one and and where where we yeah, end yeah. up in the book once he joins the fremen there's like a three four year period where he's yeah. like battling the and it makes it, and, it, in the in the book it takes him three years to learn yeah. how to do, do the, the big thing walking. i thought yeah i thought that they were trying to relay that i felt in, like in the scene too. where because you know you have the scene where Paul goes out into the desert and he has to camp has, for a week. Yeah. And Shawnee follows him out there and cheats him, teaches him how to do the walk correctly and all this kind of stuff. And then they go immediately from that into the big fight scene with the crawler and, mm -hmm. and the Harkonnen guys. But that was the point in that scene where they needed to have tell like, us like a, how much time yeah. just passed. It's almost like they needed and, and, they needed like an 80s montage. Yeah. And I think they were trying to do that, but then they were yeah, like, because they went but from, it's been six months. They went from this guy who doesn't know how to walk on the dirt. Right to like the leader all of a sudden he's he's leading a commando unit of of, of fundamentalists yeah well, out well there the, the, the difference is is mm -hmm. that now instead of 
three to four years. It, it takes place within the span of nine months, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but the, the biggest issue I had with it was I felt like there were two really big miscasts. The first was Zendaya. Like, yeah, no, yeah. No, no chemistry at all with Timothy Chalamet. But the biggest one, in my opinion, was Walken. Oh, God, he's terrible. Oh, wow. Be, 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 As the emperor? Yeah, because like at the end, <laughs> like, like he's on his throne and, and he's like, a baron. Why? What, what is this <laughs> Muad'Dib thing going on? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two, two desert mice fall uh. into a pail of milk. <laughs> last, last Dude. Alex and I are watching this theater. Every time Walken opened his mouth, oh. we both started yeah, just laughing, just chuckling. Just, just oh, laughing. I, I just I would was, laugh every time he opened his I'm mouth. I'm like, like, what is happening? Why? The, the Akonans, <laughs> you know, they're really mad at me. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my God. Like, I love Christopher Walken. The yeah. dude is a legend. Yeah. But I cannot he, separate him in this hire role. You Christopher Walken to, to play be Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. You yeah. Can't, yeah. I was like, he's too much. And I could tell he was trying to tone it down. Like he was, his Christopher Walken-ness was at like a 50%. I yeah. think oh, Christopher yeah. but... Walken doesn't think he sounds like Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But it's He's like, like, what? I was doing my emperor. What's, <laughs> what's the, uh, what's Paul's uh, Atreides, right? Yeah. yeah. Atreides, uh, <laughs> they're really mad at me. I tried to kill them. I tried to kill I, I can't do it. the Duke. And <laughs> you know? and I'm just like, I can't, dude. I can't listen to this. And also everything that they did with his, I'm trying not to spoil really hard, everything with his reasoning behind everything that he did, yeah. it's totally made up for the movie. That is 100% not why he did anything that he did. Mm. It's pretty much the opposite. But, but I, I feel like so they use Stilgar as a lot of comic relief in the uh, movie. I, but, but I did like it. But, but I, I feel like they needed more walk-in, just being <laughs> walk-in in the movie. I thought, uh, I thought uh, Stilgar, uh, Javier Bardem, Bardem um, Hands down, the best actor in the probably. Show. Well, <laughs> he, although that's he's, not in the story. Him, him, him and Fade were the best parts of this movie. Yes, yeah. And Agreed. Fade was great. So, yep. every, everything else, I'm just kind. I, I even, I even felt like Thanos was kind of <clears throat> phoning this part in. You know, well, he didn't have much to yeah, do. Yeah, you just, right. you know. Also, I mean, even all, all, all of a sudden, all storyline that they left out. Well, like all Patrick all Stewart shows up in the smugglers spice the same exact thing right. happened to patrick stewart though and yeah. lynch's like he just kind of pops out of nowhere he has like where a, have you been he kind of just does like a hoorah thing for a couple scenes yeah. and then you don't see him anymore it's like oh okay whatever overall i really did enjoy the movie mm -hmm. there's some there's some elements of it like that i'm like uh, i mean could have been done better i i think the the overindulgence the artsy fartsy overindulgence Too thing kind of took it out for me uh walking was just walking that was just it. I, like I couldn't separate it. I was like that's not the emperor. That's Crucible walking. Walking you know? in a winter walking yeah. world. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that they didn't let him dance. I got a fever. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Only prescription. Is Only more prescription spice. is more spice. I, what is I the never thought... spice melange. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Why is it called the geriatrics? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I uh, I never thought I'd watch a movie and find myself rooting for the Bene Gesserit chicks. Dude, you know, I just I will say I know it's I know it's gonna be different from the book, so I'm not trying to say that I like it more than the book, but I'm saying the the maneuvering that the uh, Benny Jesuit like it's so much more prominent in this version than in Lynch's, where it's like they are playing 4D chess. Jessica's with, a psycho. Yeah. Man. Dude. Psycho. Is it spoilery? No. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So what they did with Jessica is a bit there's a lot like her her reasoning the, I wish that what they had done with her in part two was how they started with her in part one because in part one they I, I it really pisses me off when um modern day storytellers have to like dumb down a character mm -hmm. in order to make them seem like wow look at this transition but Jessica was always strong mm -hmm. And what they did with her character in, in part one was they made her like, oh, oh dear, what's going to happen? They had to like weaken her in order to make her this strong huh. character in part two. And it really pissed me off because she was literally the smartest person, the most diabolical person, mm -hmm. the person who was playing the the long game. Mm -hmm. And she was she was the epitome of composure. She ne you, she might have been like terrified on the inside, but you would never fucking know it because I, uh, she was composure. I never felt that way about her. I always felt like she was playing a role, and that she was playing her character that way on purpose. And then when she needs to be 
crazy the, psycho. I'm going to slit your throat with this knife and you're not even going to know it, chick. She pulls that out. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So dude, when she, in this. She, she's, she's, a, she's a subservient concubine to yeah. me, too. I, so I got the, I got so, the idea so from her, the. Her being this completely opposite person when she needs to be. Yeah. From, I, from I, the, I find her character fascinating. From part one, I got the feeling that she was kind of like slow playing. She's got her role. She and she's second in not second in command, but she's yeah. underneath the the Reverend Mother, or whatever that and chick's it, name is, the the old lady. Mother Helen. Gunn. Mother, yeah. I she's like, like she's number not she's underneath her. And in this movie, I feel like she's like bumped up to being equal. And she's like, I will fuck your day up, woman. So in in the movie, <clears throat> in the book, did they did the Bene Gesserits on on the planet on Doom? Did they like blackmail her into becoming the the Reverend Mother? Because mm. I thought well, that was kind of weird. Well, well in, in the book, so the Reverend Mother that the Fremen had was dying. Yeah. Right. And so they asked Jessica to step in as their new Reverend Mother in exchange mm -hmm. for giving them, like, shelter. Right. So Jessica actually kind of propositions Stilgar uh, and is like, well, I mean, um, I don't want your people to, like, fucking kill me in the middle of the night, so I got to make myself um, important. Uh, mm -hmm. And she was like, what if I married Stilgar? And Stilgar's like, Listen, you're a hot lady. I'd love I'd love that. But if I marry you, then the tribe and Stilgar is the leader of the fucking tribe. It's yeah. not like, oh, we're all equal. He's the fucking leader. Right. And he was like, if I oh, marry did you, you catch that communism bullshit in there. <laughs> he's like, if I marry you, then my tribe might think that m my where my head is at is yeah. like wanting to get with this hot chick. Right. And then somebody's going to come and try to, like, take leadership from me. And I'm going to have to kill him. He's like, so instead, why don't you? make this lateral move over here and be our reverend mother we kind of need one anyway because ours is dying and she can't make another like voyage so why don't you step in take her role and then you'll just be a reverend mother and she was like oh bet <laughs> 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 so how it works is so you get your training in Bezzy benny jesuit and then like there's this whole like it's basically like a church mm -hmm. we're all church members and then when you become a reverend mother you it's it's Apparently, she says it's different in every culture, but um, my headcanon is like, this is literally how every culture becomes a reverend mother. It's just we don't publicize it. Mm -hmm. So you take the water of life and then your the the memories and the who every single reverend mother before you mm -hmm. gets imbued into mm -hmm. you and you now have their memories and you basically have lived thousands of lives. I love how they did that in so, this movie. So uh, uh, Benny Jesuit Je Reverend Mother is leaps and bounds above a Benny Jesuit. Like sure. the Benny Jesuit right. don't even know how you become a Reverend Mother. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Cool. I love how they showed that in this movie, though. Like how she like <clears throat> took on the- You like those close-up shots? It's very, very close up. With the tilted camera a little bit. In the, the Dutch angle? And, yeah, and the weird- And then and the artsy, fading. Artsy and, nonsense. Fading in and out. I'm really kind of annoyed at Villeneuve with his- and then the bull. Thank yeah. you. Just make us a cool sci-fi movie. Some people think. And, and he somebody, did for the I most could do part. it better. But I just, you know, it's a little. Gotta I, I don't, I don't, I don't, so I this is no, what I think I happened. I don't need that art this is, bullshit. This is what I think happened. He's like, okay, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the first one for the masses, right? It's gonna be, it's gonna be, some, yeah. It's gonna be the thing that everybody wants. And then the second mm -hmm. one, because it's going to be the last one I'm doing. No, he's doing more. Yeah, well, he probably was like, listen, this is part two. I don't even know if I'm going to be picked up for part three or whatever. I'm going to do artsy farts. He hooked so. everyone right. with part one like you do a worm. Uh -huh. And then with part two, he was like, he's just going to rape him with that. He's going to rape him with that. Overall, I did have a great time at the theater. Visually, it was stunning. Yeah, Every sure. frame is a is a piece of art. It's just it's so gorgeous to look at. I love that aspect of it. I liked a lot of it, but there's a lot. There's some, there's some, like messaging, like modern day messaging, kind of like sprinkled through, sprinkled throughout. That apparently doesn't make any sense according to the book lore. But it's like Zendaya is all like, "Oh, you come from rich people in Wall Street, and I'm a communist, and everybody's equal." Like, and there's honestly, shit like that is in this movie for no reason at all. Yeah. <laughs> and like, even with among the Fremen for this um, adaptation, like, there's so much like, uh, "We're from this part of the Fremen, and we're from this yeah. part." Of that's not in the original story at all. No, that the northern, just, and southern, or whatever. That was like, completely apparently, made up for the, the, for the, the movie. The, the southern fundamentalists are, are new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The evangelicals, you know, it's like the, the, yeah, the the, no one, the, no, the southern fremen with the curly locks. There's there's, <laughs> no, there's no sect of your fremen tribe that's Little over there. Hat. Like we don't believe oh, yeah. in that. Everyone believes the same thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. those fremen. Those are the those are the wall rockers. 
Those are the crazy ones. <laughs> yeah. They, <the> one, <laughs> yeah. Can't you tell from their accent? We're the normal ones up here. Yeah. It's like Ben Shapiro shows up in the middle of the town somewhere. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> You're a <laughs> premonomer. <laughs> Sam doesn't it's care okay. about your feelings. <laughs> I'm a rapper, huh? Uh, <laughs> like, hey, you don't have your little hat thing on. <laughs> Hey, boy, obviously I'm a rapper. Sup, bro? <laughs> I, would, I would pay good money to see Ben Shapiro acting with Christopher Walken. Oh, God. That, that, would be that is two personalities I don't, see, I don't need to see on screen together. If you spent your money uh, on that, I would be very yeah. upset with you. Why? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Conan's. So They're really bad. <laughs> overall... What's everyone's rating on uh, Doom Part Two? <sighs> Doom Part Two is not as much fun as Doom Part One, in my opinion. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it a, a solid three and a half stars, wow. like a solid like sixty to seventy percent rad on critic list. Like it's in that bucket. It's in there. I'm gonna give it another watch, and I might adjust my my rating. But for now, day after outside of the theater, three and a half stars. So. Did this movie immediately make you want to go buy another ticket and rewatch it? No, it did for me. Yeah. Really? No, because it did. I do it, want to rewatch it. It did the opposite of it for me. I I do want to. I'll rewatch it at home on my yeah. on my TV. I'm not going to go back to the theater to watch it because I feel like I've I had that experience already. Like, I'm good. Because oh, no. I know a lot of people out there on social media and on YouTube and stuff. They're all like, "Man, I've seen this movie like four or five times already. It's been out a week," and I'm like, "Jesus!" I mean, <clears throat> I didn't think it was that great. I mean, I mean for me. I, the first movie was far superior mm. to me for some reason, and um, I just watched it the other, the other yes, two days ago, because I knew I was going to watch the show yesterday. But um, I I think I'm like in around a three max right now with my score, two and a half, two and three quarters, three. Just, no half star for boobs. No half star for boobs. Could have had um, some boobs in there. I mean, got a lot listen, of you, like diet annoyed the shit out of me she was this annoying entire movie. it was super annoying and it, it annoyed <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it annoyed me that at the also at the very end of the movie the last thing we get is her being pouty and bitch face out in the fucking desert yeah. that's how the movie ends and spoiler. that's a spoiler i don't i don't care <clears throat> but it's just uh, i'm so angry right uh, now my white boyfriend uh, jesus you know it's just, <laughs> i have been enjoying the memes so it's just i just didn't i don't they didn't need to the movie's not the movie's about Paul. Right. No, it's about Zendaya. But for some reason, we get the movie turns out to be about Zendaya at the end and how she's mad. I'm angry. He, well, she's angry because he was like, listen, I'm not going to become Jesus. I'm no. not space Jesus. And then okay. as soon as. You're and getting then, into spoiler. And, oh, sorry. You're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. So, Thank you. So, anyway. Thank you. Um, Three stars. Three stars? I'm just going to go three. Just one. In, is it a one star crap? And that's, and that's super generous. I'm being really generous. Whoa. With you. I really was excited. So I just want to preface what I'm about to say with, like, I was legit excited to go see this movie. And mm -hmm. I, I wanted to love it. I was prepared to love it. Um, I'm hoping that I see it again and I don't feel as disappointed as I did the first time I watched it. However, I went into it being like, woohoo! Yeah. And then as I kept watching it, I was like, huh, I wonder why they made that choice. Oh, that's fucking annoying. And then about two thirds of the way in, I went, oh, fuck, I think I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so mad that I hated it because yeah. I wanted to love yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I did, I hated it. The, the two main, and as a woman watching this and as a woman who has read the book and loves the book and has watched every adaptation of it and was so excited for for what Villeneuve did with these characters, I, I was very excited for one particular character that he just totally fucking chucked. Mm. Uh, and um, like as a woman who is invested in this, taking the two main female characters and completely rewriting them and making one of them the fucking worst, <laughs> was <laughs> really disheartening. Oh. And that, that choice is so, infuriating like first of all why do you have to take the strongest character in the whole thing who happens to be a female and dumb her down just so that she can rise to whatever you made her yeah. and then you take the other one who is so fucking badass and strong she just happens to be in love you have to rip that away from her well, you can't have a female in love in a movie Julie. i know 
it's infuriating because, because this character women was, don't need men. <laughs> this character was so well written to begin yeah. with, and all you had to do was right there for you. It's right there. But you had to yeah. rewrite her and give her a completely different storyline. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, it's but, but people are saying there's no woke in this movie. Uh, 100% there is. 100% there is. 100% there is. There, it's, it exists. It's maybe like 10% of the movie. I'm not saying the whole movie's like no, woke trash. But it's there. But it's there. Take the blinders. Off. Yeah, yeah. 100% it's there. Yeah. So in conclusion, I'm not going to give it a one-star crap fest because there were things about mm -hmm. it that I love. Mm -hmm. I love the worms. This is the yeah, they were great. Best, best the worms I've ever looked yeah. at anything. Yeah, Harkonnens, the fucking Harkonnens dope. The Harkonnens were dope. Awesome. Yep. Um, Austin Butler, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I will give this a a a two out of five what that's it yeah damn yeah no. i legit hate this movie and i hope i don't feel that way the next time i watch it oh, but man. my my first like and i did not go into it like hey, let's see what they do yeah i didn't go into it like zendaya's character <laughs> i went into yeah. it hopeful like who she is in the book yeah and then it just there was so much about it that they the the rewriting of characters fucking destroyed me yeah. mm. and i hate this movie you know, but there are things in it that are great and fantastic and amazing and wonderful and everything online is like this movie's a fucking masterpiece and it's really mm. really fucking speaking hilarious. of this movie's a fucking it's masterpiece kadish what's your thoughts on the movie <laughs> i'm surprised you guys are being as hard on it as you are <laughs> i understand jude because she's a book purist yeah um but uh for me I really loved this movie. I hmm. walked out of the theater like, like I was like tripping balls and it was like uh, you were on the spice. Yeah, I, I had the uh, the good Ruski experience. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, <laughs> to me, this is a four star movie, and it's a perf it's a perfect extension of the first part because if you watch the first part and the second part together, it tells a complete story. Sure. sure. And I I loved how this movie brought full circle a lot of stuff that was set up in the first movie. And I felt like it was paced really well. Like I could have watched another hour, you know, even though it's already like a three hour movie. So uh, overall, like I was just like, oh yeah, like I love this movie. I want to see it again. Probably want to see it three or four times. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm surprised at the hate that I'm seeing at this table. So I didn't hate it. I was just, I'm disappointed. I am embracing your hate. I, oh. I didn't hate it at all. I had a good time with it. There's, I'm just saying it's not, movie it's, I really love the whole, the whole, it's like, Remember when they were kind of like reintroducing us to the Harkonnen planet? Yeah. I think it was towards, it might have been the very beginning when they got that weird like sound stuff. The, the, yeah, and the, 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 Har the Harkonnen and the, and fireworks. The, the chants going on. Yeah. And, the liquid, and it was just. Oh, no, no, no. Are oh, you talking about the first movie? No, I'm talking about this movie. Oh, this movie. Okay. You know, you yeah. know, I've never been creeped out by a weird race of humans ever in a movie. In <laughs> Because this Harkonnens, they creep me out. They just, they're creepy. Yeah. I like they're, it. They're just, I like you it. just look at them and go, oh, this is. They, evil. they 10,000% like, stole H, H.G. Geiger's, H.R. Geiger's, H.R. Yeah. Geiger's uh, uh, artwork, though, for that. Okay. For Harkonnen. Whatever. I'm just saying they like, Fine. they definitely use that as like a benchmark for how they were going to make these guys look, which I, yeah. is a great idea. Fantastic. I love the black sun effect. Black it was sun just, was great. It was yeah. really cool. Harkonnens were fucking cool. Super, yeah. super yeah. cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. But, well, that's it for our non spoiler. That's all he's got. I just, I liked it. Four stars. Well, really? we're going to get into the spoilers. So, for, for members' save. content after this, mm -hmm. we're going to get deeper we're in. We're going to fucking dissect it because I have a lot more to say. Yeah, we have a lot more to talk about and we have to get into the details because there's a couple of things like there's some religious aspects to this movie that I thought they did phenomenally well. I thought it was really cool. So, we'll get into that through member stream. So, uh, if you haven't been gifted a membership already, please join up. Salty Nerd, uh, what, what's the website for the <laughs> membership? Is it Salty Nerd? <laughs> Salty Nerd Live. Live.com? And then join up for the just, become a member. Just our YouTube channel. Yeah, just look, yeah. You know what to do. You're you're smart people. Um, I'm not. Yeah, that's it. So join up because we're going to talk about Dune a little bit later after this live stream at three o'clock. <clears throat> All right. The next up, I can't wait to talk about this. I'm so excited. Oh, is this your video game thing? Hell divers. Wait to hear about it. We get the boom bitch going. Boom oh, bitch. Man. Hell divers and starship troopers and why? Apparently because I like this game and that movie. I am Bugs. now a fascist. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Killing, right. killing bugs makes you a fan. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Yeah, because the bugs represent communism. <laughs> oh. Don't you understand? Communism is bad, though, right? Uh, communism is bad. Yeah. Communism is bad, okay. <laughs> but not in Dune Part 2 and not in... Oh. St in according okay. to these random people on the internet have said things, and we have to pay attention to them <laughs> because they have a Twitter account. So, uh... <laughs> 
with the release of Helldivers 2, which is basically an unlicensed version of Starship Troopers. And so this is a brand new game, right? Yeah. Just came out in Do you want me to set it up first before we dive into the article, or you want to do the article first? Yeah, what, what's... You can set it up. Okay, oh God, let me talk about Helldivers. Yeah, right. give it to me. Let me preach the word of freedom to you folks. <clears throat> um, okay, so Helldivers came out early February, and uh, it's by a small development team that used to work with 343, who did Halo. Um, and they they pitched this game to Halo developers like, hey, this could be a great ODST spinoff uh, Halo game. And they were like, nah, we're good. Mm -hmm. We're going to do shitty 343 remakes of Halo. Yeah. Um, so the Halo fan base, fan base has been going in like a steep decline for a long time now. Uh, and these guys went and they were like, you know what? We're going to start our own thing and we're going to make this freaking game. So Helldivers came out and it was like a third person over the view, like walk around shooter game. It wasn't very good. It wasn't very popular. Not a lot of people played it. Helldivers 2, they revamped it. They gave you a third-person view from behind the shoulder, and now it's a tactical shooter with a squad. And it's, like, super addicting. But they base it in this weird, like, fascist, fictional world. Fascist world? Fascist world, where you, you, are, <laughs> you are on the planet Super Earth, and they call it Super Earth, and it's like, fight for freedom against the automatons, which are basically, like, Terminator, Terminator units. Okay. And, and also, you know, kill the bugs, which are the Terminoids on the other side of the, of the galaxy. Um... But the whole game is wrapped in this nice little Starship Troopers wrapping of propaganda. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm doing my part. It's it's literally like that, but it get, it sucks me. I love personally, that part of the movie. Sucks me into the game where I'm like, I'm in the chat with people well, that I, are from freaking. I played with a guy from Switzerland the other day, and I was like, for freedom and liberty, sir. And he's <laughs> like, oh, yeah, very good, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sounds great. <laughs> Where are you from? From Las Vegas. He's like, oh, from Switzerland. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, oh, man. Mr. Neutrality. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah, yeah. Can be neutral in the space. Yeah. Let's go. Let's you know. plant some seeds of freedom. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's that kind of like, it gets you wrapped up in the propaganda of the universe that you're playing Listen, in. This It's so fun. This thing was so spot on with uh, Starship Troopers mm -hmm. that when it first came out a few weeks ago, I was like... I was hesitant to pull the trigger. Yeah. Because I go, this they're just ripping off Starship Troopers. This is they're gonna get sued into oblivion. But I wasn't aware it's of not, the history and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I, it literally looked like a cheap knockoff to me of Starship <laughs> Troopers. And I'm just like, I'm just gonna go buy the Starship Troopers game. Is there a Starship Troopers yeah. game? Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. And, but then you go like, let's go, Trooper. And I'm like, oh, okay. I will, I will yeah, I will <laughs> text him when I know so, he's getting off of work. And I'll be like, let's like, plant some I'm like, freedom, bro. Fuck alone. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> we got to die for liberty tonight, buddy. And I'm just like, let's go. I do. I, I've caught myself playing until freaking 2 a.m. this game. Yeah. This guy brought his children over to my house to play with my child and was in the backyard with them. And he was like, we got bugs. We yeah. have to we have yeah. to destroy well, these bugs. And my like, kid was like, I don't get it. No, he he did not. He was not vibing with me. <laughs> yeah. But like the kid, they were having, they were like bored. They don't know what to do. So, okay, I got to kickstart this. I got to I got to jumpstart their imagination. So I, I did like a little Starship Troopers thing with yeah. them and had some fun. But it was fine. Take the kids. Take them out to the desert. Dump them out of the truck. Go. I'll be back in a couple hours. Yeah, that sounds okay. fun. For okay. Them. <laughs> well, my parents did. Get Jesus. the fuck out of the house. Jesus Christ. Go outside. Do you, um, go, do you think find you something. ended up okay? I'm all right. I'm all lived. I've got a couple scars. <laughs> up here. Yeah, yeah. A couple, couple scars. Right whatever. in here. <laughs> like if, like, you give, but anyway, give them a rattlesnake kit um, and some tape. The, the, Put over duct tape. Or the initial start of this game, it was like independent developers. They they only had servers to support like three hundred thousand people. They were not expecting this to do anything. They were like, ah, oh, we're we're just gonna put it on Steam. It's like thirty bucks. It's it's less than a triple A game, so like it's not gonna get that much buzz. For whatever reason, it took off. It freaking caught fire, and I started seeing Instagram reels because of people. Because of, of <laughs> I started seeing Instagram reels of these people playing these game, and I'm like, this looks freaking awesome. I need to get this game. Yeah. And it's in a yeah. price point where you're not like, oh, I'm gonna spend eighty dollars on freaking no. game. And it's like thirty bucks. Oh, I'll spend thirty bucks, even if I only play it for ten hours. It's still worth it. So. Now I'm like in deep, yeah. And I'm like I'm part of the fan base. I'm like following people on Instagram and TikTok, and I'm like I'm like okay, give me some ideas. What's the next strategy to do this? And this game, the because of that like mock fascist rhetoric that is like redone and propagized, prop, propagandized, yeah, sure, propagandized in the game. It it mimics the Starship Troopers, like right. which that movie was a kind of like a commentary slash parody yeah. of. It's anti-war. I mean, it's satire, but it's anti-war, and you're like, yeah, they're they're, they're literally awesome. They're literally running around in Nazi uniforms. Yeah, 
Yeah. In Starship Troopers. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, Doogie Hauser looks like a straight. He guy. looks like an SS agent, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and we like me anymore. And like, but, uh, it's a break. Yeah. 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 Like it's mocking fascism. Right. And it's yeah. supposed to be you the humans are supposed to be the bad guy in that movie, but the movie is so beloved yeah. because everybody gets caught up like, in this hoorah. Like, yeah, yeah kill the bug. I'm right? never I'm never gonna say that the humans are the bad guys in that movie. <laughs> and the freaking Ever. you know, the kids in the street are like crushing cockroaches because yeah. they do your part to yeah. in the like, war effort. He's like shaking hands, he's like, the infantry made me the man I am yeah, today. Yeah. He's missing he's like missing one an arm. arm and both legs. There is a um a, a like a body armor skin that you can buy in the game where you're missing limbs and what? you have like a robotic arm and shit like that. It's it's straight up just like the freaking <laughs> show. Um anyway, so Kate, okay, something's popped off online about this whole thing. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so uh basically after Hell Divers came out and, and hit really big, it stirred up this new thing called Starship Troopers Discourse. And it, mm -hmm. it's like this weird debate that's raging online amongst the left and the right about Starship Troopers. And you have basically people on the left who are siding with the bugs, which in the Robert Heinlein original book that Starship Troopers is based on was an allegory for communism. They were like the perfect communists. Right. And so uh, a lot of people on the left side of the aisle uh, came out and started saying like humans are the bad guys in the movie. They're obviously fascists. The bugs, uh, you know, we encroached on their territory. They're just defending themselves. And so they started defending the bugs. And of course, other people are like, dude, um, it's not a fascist society. Humans were attacked first, you know, like it was totally justified. I'm from Buenos Aires and I say, kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> Let's go get tattoos. Yeah. And, and, and so like, um, there, there are both sides that have fairly decent arguments uh, supporting their position. But uh, for the most part, like Heinlein was like a very hardcore libertarian and he was a very hardcore anti-communist. And in his book, the bugs were obviously very like a stand in for communism. Mm -hmm. And so it was about fighting communism, the original Starship Troopers book. Um, and in the movie, Verhoeven didn't bother to read the book. <laughs> he just sounds about right. Yeah, he just read <laughs> the, the screenplay and basically said, I want to make this about the uh, fascism. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so like uh basically the the whole movie is is like a satire about fascist propaganda right um but at the same time like if you look at the society that he created in there so first of all it's it's a merit-based society so mm -hmm. like you have to actually have served in the government to have a say in yeah, the you, government yeah you have to do your service Man, in order to that's vote a, that's a crazy comment. careful what you wish for i've got a conspiracy for you after the, for the member stream and, and in, in the movie so like the leader of uh the the union or whatever uh, the federation yeah uh basically after the d disastrous uh first battle uh he gets he steps down and he's replaced by someone that was voted in uh so like you know like it's obviously a democracy um, but because like they're dressed like you know like like space Nazis, um, <laughs> can we not say it on YouTube? No, you really should. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, no. I, I, Yachty, I, I, good. Yeah, I, I know Mexican Iron Man calls them Yachtis. Oh, okay. Um, but sure. Uh, but the point is, is, is that it's very obvious that in the movie and in the book, uh, these guys aren't fascists. Mm -hmm. But because Verhoeven is trying to make a statement. Um, yeah. We've all seen Showgirls. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey man, I'm you know all for kind of a crazy uh, filmmaker this guy. Is. I got but, no problem with communal showers. But, it's fine. <laughs> that was a great yeah, scene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and, and like it, it's kind of like Verhoeven creates this ideal um, society in, in the sense that like you know women can shower with men and not have to worry about being assaulted or. <laughs> You know, like yeah right. Oh, Riz I'll, get, I'll get naked too, so Riz, that way you feel better. Riz would kick the shit out of any guy in that shower. You Diz, know it. Diz? 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 Diz. I thought it was Riz. No. Dizzy. 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 Oh my bad. I'm sorry. Yeah. I failed. Here's my nerd card. Sorry. But but basically, Hell Divers has has sparked this huge debate yeah. online about uh, Starship Troopers, and people are just going at it on Twitter, trying to like argue their side, and and everyone's like. Of course, uh, the commie hippie liberal <laughs> are against humanity and yeah. what the bugs. Yeah, do. man. No, it's it's funny that this game has popped off. So
the computer stations. All right, Kadish is going to do damage control. Sorry about this, guys. See, this is it's the automatons. All right, Kadish is going to do damage control. Sorry about this, guys. See, this is yep, yep. So we're bought, we're back. It's that's my laptop talking. So you guys can hear my hair's a mess, fuzzy mess. You're fine. Yeah. Hey, everybody. How often do I have to do this with my laptop now? This is yeah. getting this is getting too much. It destroys the whole flow. It does. It really yeah. kills the momentum like, of the I'm show. Like, I know. I was looking forward to talking about. Yeah. So anyway, go go download Hell Divers. You'll find me there. Yep. Salty Nerd underscore one one three eight on Steam. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, come on, guys, come play. Don't, don't come play. I'm fucking DM you. Why? Because there's there's freaks out there that you don't want to have your Steam information. My screen name your for Steam. Steam? Information. Are you guys gonna hack my account? Don't <laughs> hack my account. Don't do that. <laughs> Hell doxed. Nah. Hell divers. It's good. No, um, it it's a ton fun. of fun. I, I gotta get you to play more because I, I got you I got you a little taste of yeah, it. I, I I am gonna play more. Yeah. I do want to play more. I just my schedule doesn't it's not conducive to I've been trying to match your schedule. Dark soda. All right. I've been trying to match your schedule. You don't don't try Do you wanna come over here and talk to me since my laptop is the only one that they can see? No, they can hear me. All right. Let's make me on be on screen all by myself. That's right. That's right. They, uh, uh, Popcast, is that Brian or Shane? Brian, I want to play oh, with you too. Hook, let's hook up. Bex on Steam. Okay. Okay. I'll hit you up, man. Let's do it. I'll, I'll walk you through it. I'll get you started. I'm, I uh, I just upgraded to level 19 today. Yeah. My, my so, problem with the game is I don't like to play with strangers. I don't. I want to develop our, our own group. Well, let's do it then. Be you, me, Brian. Yeah, Who else we, we got? We can get people. Yeah, we can get people. Yeah. It is so. I've heard. I've heard because of the popularity of this game, the developers are going to bump up the um, the group stats to eight oh, cool. instead of four. They're working I mean, on that I right see, now. I've seen a lot of stuff that they're working on. Like there's yeah. mechs coming. Yeah, there's, there's mechs coming. Vehicles, vehicles, all kinds of stuff coming around the corner. So the game is going to evolve. It's going to keep growing. But I'm I'm loving it just the way it is right now. So yeah. we'll we'll see. So are we back yet, or what's going? No, on? we're not even close. Uh, I can't believe that 73 of you guys are still hanging out watching yeah. after our, our another computer crash. We definitely need to get this figured out before next month, though. That's that's for sure. Or we shouldn't. Yeah. One Steam helps me get back into my account. I'll play. Oh, dude, Sean, listen. Yeah. Do you know the, the computer thing where you have to like, we're back? Yeah. Alex, uh, yeah. Did you take over? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna, yeah. Remove me. There you go. Okay. Woohoo! We're kind of back. <clears throat> back on the fat can. Back on the fat can. Why is it so laggy? What do you mean? You're not getting that? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is, it is. a. I am too. Yeah, I'm getting a frame rate drop. All right, let's go. We're on camera. Three, that's Jude. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> There's me. Okay, I'm four. And Vader is two. Okay, two, three, four. Cool. <clears throat> So anyway, uh, yeah, Helldivers, definitely mm -hmm. definitely a fun play. But I do love the fact that it's like getting uh, Starship Troopers back into the like yeah. culture. And it's like, because it's bringing up these same conversations. Like, oh, who's the bad guys? We're fa fascists. Humans are fascists. And the bugs are this and that. Nah, man. Kill some bugs. Uh, you know what's funny is when you were over uh, the other day with the kids and you were like out there like with, we had like Nerf guns. Yeah. And he was out there and he was like saying bugs. And I was like, huh. 
makes me think of Starship Troopers. Yeah. And I didn't know all of this that we were going to talk about <laughs> or like where that came from. I was like, that, what, a, what a weird, random uh, Listen. thing to, to bring up. And I like got it because I've seen Starship Troopers. Right. So yesterday after school, my son and I went for, uh, we were taking the dog for a walk. And I was like, hey, so uh, that, and I, and I like brought it up. I was like, you didn't get it, huh? And he was like, no. I was like, well, what were you picturing? He goes, bugs and i was like oh he was talking about like giant bugs that are aliens he was like oh yeah that would have been cool <laughs> like, yeah, one of us probably should have described them to you my child is very literal yeah oh yeah <laughs> he's like bugs he's like yeah i was like <laughs> Look, there's ten thousand bugs over there in a nest. We gotta get it. And he, he's goes, like, he goes, "There's he goes, just like three probably over there hiding three, in a corner. Yeah, They're probably just scared." There's <laughs> like, "There's three bugs over there. There's not that many. I don't know what you're talking about." And I'm like, "Oh, he's never. Seen. I mean, my kids, <laughs> my kids have never seen Starship Troopers either. Yeah, because it's it's a little bit old for their age. Yeah, it's a little grown up. It's yeah. a little grown up for them. But too many boobs. Just, <laughs> <laughs> never too many boobs. Oh man, my oldest, my my oldest kid, freaking straight up threw me under the bus the other day. Cause I was like, cause he's getting to that age and I'm like, all right, I'm going to start showing him some cool stuff. <laughs> right. Boobs. Not boobs, but like cleavage. I'm like, I'm like, Hey man, check this, the scene out in this cool movie. I was like Desperado <laughs> with Antonio Banderas. And he's like in the bar. Remember that bar scene? Okay. Yeah. I'm like, check this, this awesome scene out. Right. And he's watching it. And his mom walks in and she goes, what are you watching? And he goes, dad's making me watch <laughs> a terrible movie. He, it, this movie's, I'm too young for this movie, mom. Oh my God. He's and like, like, dad's making me watch what? Uh, this movie. He's like, oh, okay. this, this thought, bad movie. I thought you said a porno movie for a no, second. No, I was no. like, why does he know that? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and I'm like, bro. <laughs> this just threw me under the bus. Just before. threw me under the bus hard. I was like, oh. Listen, man. Bros before mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dad also, save mom. yourself. <laughs> it's a save yourself mentality. Yeah. It was a good time. Good time. But I do, at, at some point in time, they'll watch Starship Troopers for sure. It's a classic. Got it. Are you going to get a donut? I am. Dude, we're sponsored That's today by uh, Nick 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 Russian Donuts. This is a Russian donut company, <laughs> Nick 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 Comes with bottle of vodka. Vodka, yeah. You, come, you buy Straight Straight from Glacier. You buy a bottle of vodka, you get a dozen donuts. Yeah. This yeah. is when you have sanctions on Mother Russia, <laughs> and we do Nick Nude. <laughs> Not Duncan. Nick Nude. <laughs> Nick Nude. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Oh, Tucker man. Carlson. Kadish ate the one donut that I wanted. Yeah. I brought in 12 donuts. I said, with, save me that one. No remorse. <laughs> no, no, no remorse. remorse. He's like, oh, is this the one you wanted? <laughs> I was like, I'm goes, so sorry. I came, I had to run home. I came back. He's like, oh, I ac I accidentally, I accidentally ate, ate your donut. donut. And I was like, he goes, yeah, I picked it up. I thought it was glazed. <laughs> and then it's like after, blue. He goes, after I started eating it, I realized it was it was the blueberry one that you want. I said, and then you finished it. There's, there's no mistake. Yeah. The yeah. yeah. <laughs> he straight up, he's like, oh, like, mm, this, this, is, this is juice I, donut. This, this vanilla donut is really good. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, this, this I was like, vanilla donut. 100%. If I had said I wanted that fucking chocolate one, <laughs> he would have eaten that one instead. Yeah. 100%. 100%. <laughs> anyway, he's I like, don't... he's like, eh, she's drinking her carbs today. She doesn't need any donuts. Yeah, no shit. Um, I don't know what I don't, I didn't read this article because I don't care what people say about Starship Troopers online. We're just um, doing time. Oh, God. Yeah. I listen, I watched all of those, uh, all the TikTok links videos that he yeah, sent us, yeah. and I was like, I hate this person. I don't know who they are, but I hate them. <laughs> and I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to work here anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I do, I do want to talk to you about Hell Divers. Just keep this subject going. But, um, because you're a big time gamer, you've gamed a lot. You've, mm -hmm. and you've done a lot of different types of games that I don't really like. What's your what's your general thoughts on Helldivers after Are playing, you following it? it? I'm only level five. It doesn't like, matter. What are you? But, Eighteen. Yeah. Okay. Um. But no, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a, it's a it's a game that, um, I could easily get up in the morning and play till it's time to go to bed. Mm -hmm. I just can't do that right now. I want to do that. I want to take a day and just do like a twelve hour game sesh. Bug killing spree. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. But I, Let I me just, know when I'll I, I'll, I I'll do it. I can't do it right now. This but, um, gives me the the nostalgia of uh, the Dragon Champions that when you were like, "What what level are you? Yeah, do yeah. you have a guild? Are you yeah. on the guild? We're doing a raid." <laughs> oh man! Oh, the golden age. Um, some people have said it's like uh, like Destiny. Destiny had that same vibe. We're like crew up, 
with a couple of your guys yeah. and you go complete. Missions. So that's, that's the thing I don't like about this game is I don't like to play with the games with people I don't know. Mm -hmm. And that's just, I think it's just uh look, man, I had a great time thing. with it's that like, guy from Sweden. It's like, I, I don't want to get online and, and cause I'm, I'm going to suck at this game. I, I'm not good. Sure. My fingers don't bend the right ways yet. And then, you know, and I'm, I'm mouse and keyboard and, you know, it's like, I don't know. I don't have the muscle memory. This, there's right? no muscle memory there. Yeah. So I kind of suck. I do. I, I admit it. I'm not it's very okay. good at it. And the last thing I want to do is get swore at by some fucking <laughs> eleven year old kid. That's then it'll piss me off because that's I just know it will. It's like listen, you little fuck. <laughs> that, that's, where, that's where I'm gonna be playing games with you in diapers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like that's the shit he does, and he's and he's just like assuming that other people will do that. Yeah, him. yeah. Well, you freaking suck at this game. Yeah. Get off my. So that has actually happened. So it does happen. One of the things that I really admire about the developers of this game um, is like people have been like, how do I say this? People have been saying like, hey, can we get like a player versus player mode mm -hmm. in this game? And he's been straight up, no, that's not what this game was about. Right. Because when you have PvP you end up with this weird like competitive toxicity and not saying that like games like call of duty, obviously that's the whole point of the game is you go in there and you're versus other players and whoever's the best one wins. The it's match. Like but the problem with that is guys who like, like me who just, just play casually. Yeah. Just once in a while I pick up call of duty. I get my freaking ass handed I, to what, me. What, what I want is I want a game like this that has like a, instead of a guild, we'll call it a, unit or a battalion or something mm -hmm. right and 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 you just you make your own guild and that way you get like 40 50 people in it that you're comfortable with or 30 or whatever mm -hmm. and you can make your squads out of that group and then you, you can have like missions where you like uh as a collective you can get upgrades and, and things for your ships and all these sure yeah. you know that's the kind of game i want i just don't want i don't i don't want a game where i just get put into this random and Right, where I queue up for a mission on my ship that I want to go play, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden there's Joe, Bob, and and Louie, you know, sitting in in the bay, and like, who the fuck are these guys? You, you know, and I I don't like to play games with people I don't know. Sure. So it's, then that's just the thing yeah. that I, I uh, I've I am not an online gamer. I've yeah. almost always played single player campaign type games. I, I'm not a big online guy. I'm, mm -hmm. just, I'm just not. And I agree with you to a certain point, but for whatever reason, this game, because of the camaraderie, mm -hmm. because of like the mutual, like, let's go get them type mentality that everybody hoorah. has, the hoorah, everybody's on the same team. Doesn't matter who hops onto my ship to go join me on a mission. They're all like, all right, bro, we're here to help each other. See, like, like I, I get guys who are way higher levels than me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm still, I'm like still trying to figure this shit out. I don't know what I'm doing. He's like, oh, it's all good, bro. Here's some extra supplies. Here's yeah. a cool gun that I have access to yeah, that you don't have. That's, that's, you know that's, who that reminds me of? Shawnee in the books. <laughs> <laughs> but like, guys will come in and be like, hey, I've got this extra thing that I have because I'm this level. I'm going to call it down. You can take it. You take that and go have fun with it. And I'm going to protect you on this side so you can figure out the game and learn how to play and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Or they'll be like, hey, on this mission, because we're doing this, I would suggest using these upgrades instead of this one. And I'm like, oh, shit, thanks, man. That's really it's it builds this weird like hoorah camaraderie mm -hmm. brotherhood thing. Yeah, I'm and just I'm getting I just, sucked into I, it. I have a hard time interacting with people I don't know. Sure. And it's just me. He hates most other humans. I do not like Fair most enough. other humans. Yeah. Fair. yeah. Yeah, we're a disease. You and I we're played. an infection. So that, that's funny though, because you and I played together and we yeah, had we, some rando. And we dude. met some dude. He was cool. random dude. And he was from Who Oregon. Was pork he's from he's Ooh, from Oregon cool. too, right? Yeah. Aww. And uh and you guys were bonding over the fact that he was from Oregon. And mm -hmm. yeah, man. Once the ice is broken, I'm usually pretty good. Yeah. It's just the the the, the, the initial meeting new people. Yeah. I'm just not a fan of it. No. It is what it is. It's I like, did. We we had a we had about like 45 minutes between shows. Yeah. And I hopped on real quick and I'm like, I bet you I can get a round yeah. out. And I did. I got a round out. I beat two missions and I was like, hell yeah, man. That's awesome. <laughs> it's good stuff. You wanna, what do you got? We got super chats. We do have super chats? We have, we have yeah. a couple. Oh, actually. let's do it. Yeah. All right. Sorry, guys. And I was going to say, like, uh, Kadish already knows everything I'm going to say about the online uh, TikTok thing that I want to tell you guys about. Should we do it? So we him? can. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be yeah. kind of messed up. But, uh, let's, let's do super chats let's first. Let's hit the chats. Yeah. Five dollars from Mr. Uh, Mr. William Forbes. Hell yeah, Starship Troopers, four. 
I don't know. Starship Trooper. Four stars. Four? Oh, four stars. Oh, oh okay. four stars. I okay. see. I see. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Uh, definitely a fan. Never, e never even heard of Hell Divers. Glad I missed the Dune review. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. We kept it spoiler free. Yeah, yeah it's spoiler free. If yeah. you want to go back and watch our our general thoughts on it, um, but we will be doing a, a spoiler version uh, for the members chat here coming up soon. Yeah, I I too had never heard of Hell Divers prior to Hell Divers two coming out. Mm -hmm. So, but. Me it's, a, it's a cool game. I, I just I saw people playing it on Instagram, and I was like, "This looks freaking awesome!" Yeah. And I jumped in, and now I, I can't not think about it. Um, we got another ten dollars from the Astro Nerd Boy. What's up, bro? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, I don't have time for online games like this. If I had a solo offline version, I'd do it. But I guess this game isn't like that, so it has to be passed for me. But it does look fun though. So, bro, I play solo missions all the time. If you go in. You can turn you, the friends. You thing can turn off. the friends thing off, and you can go do a mission by yourself. It's way harder. Yeah. Like, if you can play with a group at level four or five difficulty, if you're going solo, put it down to like two. Well, see, and that's and and that's, be okay. and that's the problem I was having. I didn't want to play with people. I wanted to go into a simple little one person version, yeah. and just learn the controls. I wanted to feel. I wanted to try to map my fingers, get these things utilized to where, when I go do play with people, I don't come off like a complete and total. New. But, but that's New. part of the that's part of the, the thing. Yeah, but I don't like it. I, I'm I try to be a little more because I was a noob. I was a noob for a long yeah. time, and I still played. And I was like, hey, I'm just trying to learn. And everybody across the board has been super like, yeah, yeah man, All we right. get you. Now, when you do get into the higher difficulties, you're looking like hell divers and insane difficulty, like up, up, up. Those guys are so into it yeah. that if you come in with the with the wrong orbitals, like the, the wrong call downs yeah. for your weapons and stuff, they'll be like, get the fuck out. You're going to ruin the game. Yeah. Because they're like, See, those are the kind they're of in it to win it. We've got another uh, super chat from Will William Forbes. William Forbes. Cool. Hold on. I don't know why I'm getting a frame rate drop on this. This yeah, is so, so weird. Uh, guys, basically, in order to get back on the stream, we had to go through a different browser. And I think the browser settings are different than what we had before. So uh, we're, we're getting a little bit of a frame rate issue. <clears throat> we don't know how to fix it. So. Uh, those of you out there watching, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, geez. okay. <laughs> Two dollar super chat. I've been getting down playing uh, Bro Force. I have Bro Force on Steam. That's a good game. That's fun. I, I didn't play too much of it because it's not the side scroller styles is not really my thing, but it's cool. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone. You get all like uh, Steven Seagal. You get to play all these iconic characters, and you just go on a war path and just destroy things. But it's like a it's like an old school Nintendo 2D side scroller shooter. It's it's interesting. Uh, did you get to Forvis's first super? Yeah, yeah. yes, we, did. we, we heard that already. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, for we're support. caught up on super. Appreciate it. All right, so th there was one thing I wanted to um, just kind of cover Oops. with you guys. Sorry, first uh, before we should I boom bitch it? No, okay, no, don't boom bitch it. Just <laughs> <laughs> um, keep your bitch without boom. Yeah. <laughs> so in addition to the hell diver stuff, there's this whole community on TikTok called um wags hell divers really and wag stands for um wives and girlfriends of hell divers oh. soldiers oh my wife should join <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and so wags is something for the military where basically if, yeah. if your husband's yeah. overseas or whatever you know a wife or a, yeah, like a support group yeah yeah it's a yeah. support group but now <laughs> instead of actual military it's just guys who are like super into hell divers <laughs> and this is how their wives and girlfriends can support them uh, right. there and, and so like as you can see like there's like all these videos of like the the wags of hell divers soldiers That's amazing. Uh, coming on here and, and helping to support them and uh, and you know support each other and it's like <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, it, it's actually uh, pretty. Funny. Dude, the memes from this game are so funny. They're so hilarious. Yeah. Like the humor that comes out of this, just because of the nature of the game. And that's the other thing too. Is like it doesn't take itself so seriously because it's still goofy Starship yeah. Trooper stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you have like this sense of humor amongst it. But I'm doing my. Part. You could take the game <laughs> super seriously and like really get into it. All the wags are doing their part. Yeah, man, I love it. It's such a cool game. Go check it out, guys. Yeah. It's well and, worth uh, the money. So speaking of WAGs um, and TikTok, uh, there's this uh, new thing on TikTok that uh, Jude has been going down the rabbit hole of, and it's called uh, "Who Who the F Did I Marry?" Mm -hmm. And and at at first I thought it was uh, something about me, because like, <laughs> Jude was like, "Who the fuck did I marry?" But uh, she, it's actually much deeper than that. Yeah. So sound off in the chat if you have watched uh, "Who the Fuck Did I Marry." 
Uh, so I was watching some other TikTok story that I kind of like went down a little bit of a rabbit hole in. And that um, TikToker uh, said, and if you haven't um, heard of Who the Fuck Did I Marry, um, put that in the search bar right now. And I was right. like, well, okay. Uh, I really liked this TikTok. I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. It's a 50 part series. Jesus. Five zero, 50 part TikTok series. I watched all 50 parts back to fucking back. It took me a full day. They're all 10 minutes long. And I was just like, had my ear pods in vacuuming and just lit, <laughs> like, oh, he did what? And it is this like, oh my God, I, I got so fucking invested. I have gone down the rabbit hole like I have never gone before. Oh. I went full body in. I swan dive <laughs> into this rabbit hole of who the fuck did I marry? And it's just basically this woman and she's just in her car making a TikTok, and she's got like her like heatless curlers in and she's just driving to work and she starts telling this story and 50 fucking parts later this story of like how she met this man just just barely prior to lockdown in 2020 met him started a relationship with him ultimately marrying and divorcing him through this whole it it, it, it takes about a year of of her of her life telling this story and basically like she met this man on like online dating and he was not the man that he presented himself to be. And I kind of thought we were going to get like a, Oh, it turns out he was a line cheating dog. And right. I was like, okay, I'll, 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 I'll watch <laughs> girl. This went into places like he would be on the phone with his brother and he'd be like, Oh babe, John says hi. And she'd be like, Hey John, John wasn't on the phone. This man was talking for 40 minutes a day to his brother that did not exist. He had a whole life that he made up for this woman, a job he made up for this woman, a secondary phone that was his business phone that just turned out to be a prepaid phone that he had. And like this whole, he had a company car that didn't exist. And uh, like this, <laughs> this house in California where he used to live with his ex-wife that didn't exist. And like stepkids that didn't exist and sisters that didn't exist. And this whole world that he invented for her that did not exist. And she was like, so during their breakup, certain family members of his would like get a hold of her on like social media and be like, Hey, um, I'm his cousin from this place, yeah. like Philadelphia or whatever. Uh, he's like, so this is all taking place in Georgia. And when she kicked him out, he drove from Georgia to Philly to go stay with family and his family in Philly reached out to her on social media and they were like, Hey, what happened? Uh, hi, I'm his cousin. I know we've never met before. And so she starts finding out more about him via his family. And, and the more that she would say to them, they'd be like, um, that person hasn't talked to him in six years. And then she'd be like, oh, well, you know, his when his sister reached out to me, they'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't have a sister. And it turns out like this man created this whole universe that he, only he alone lived in and he would be on the phone several times a day for 30 to 40 minutes each time just talking to himself she is lucky she didn't end up in a freaking basement somewhere yeah he <laughs> used a different social security number on their on their marriage license Whoa. and she like even like because she started to, to suspect like some things aren't matching up and she worked uh she was like a dispatcher for um for um police oh, okay. where, where where they live she's a cop she's not a cop but she worked in law enforcement and so she was like yeah things aren't adding up i'm gonna do a background check on them so she used the social security number that he gave her for their marriage certificate and it came up fine and then when she got a new job she was like oh my new job needs to run background checks on like me and like make Your sure spouse, that yeah, like that yeah yeah so he gave her a different one and she was like She's like, yeah, I, um, that's, I don't feel like that's a different number. And so she like went back and looked at their man. And she was like, that's not even the same number. And she <laughs> did a background check on him with that. So and he was a whole guy? different person. Well, so now it 
So like this is a 50 part TikTok series and I highly recommend yeah. you check it out Wasn't because like it is riveting. Big part of them trying to get a house. Yeah, there was this whole thing. Just check it out for yourself. Like he would like take her like to go look at houses and then something would happen. He was like, oh, I have this offshore account that I'm just going to make an all cash offer. And then the, they would be like, OK, well, you have to show proof of funds. And he'd be like, how dare you? I'm not going to do that. And like all of the realtors in the chat would be like. Yeah, that's literally how you do it. You you have to present proof of funds. Yeah. Anyway, so there's the whole thing with that. And like so his lies started to catch up with him. Of course. Um so um fuck, I forgot where I was going with that. Um Kate just <laughs> so threw me who off. Who is this guy? So okay, so so it's a 50 part TikTok series. Meanwhile, he has reacted to her videos and created his own TikTok account and that is where it gets fucking juicy because he is still spinning lies. He claims that he is like he'll make a TikTok and it's clearly just him in his own living room in a lazy boy chair and he's like, "Yeah, I'm on set right now. I'm doing a my my Netflix uh story about in like about about this whole thing about how uh Risa Tisa's lying and then we're like day 16 on the set and like her series only came out like 16 days ago so clearly he has already made a uh uh she married this dude she he, fell for this yeah this guy sounds yeah. like he's terrible at lying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And now, like, people are coming out of the woodwork and being and like creating their own like spinoff series, just like as actors. Being. Are they still married? No, no, no. Okay. So, my question is, and if you know, please sound off in the chat. But, like, my question is, like, I just got married and I know the legality of that. And if you use a fake social security number, how was that a legal marriage? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So I don't know if the law is different in different states, but I know here it's like if I'm if I misspelled my mother's maiden name, they'll they're like, you got to reapply. Oh, yeah. 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 Me, me and my wife were technically not married for like a year and a half because there was like one line on the on the thing that wasn't signed correctly. Yeah. And they were like, hey, by the way. I'm, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what the what the legality is. Um but <clears throat> yeah, it weird. was a crazy story. It sounds like she's super gullible. It took though. me an entire day to get through, and I was fully invested. Like at one point, I thought my kid was in the shower, and I'm listening to this shit. And, and then all of a sudden, he's like he's talking to me from the next room, and I was like, "Oh shit, you still live here?" <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's it's riveting. Check it out. Major Chai Chai gifted five memberships. Welcome. Nice. Uh, Syfax, welcome Samuel Schwarzenegger. I don't know how to say Schwager. that. Schwager. Uh, GJJ and Dean Crane, Dan, Dan Crane. And I don't even know how to Good say Good luck that. with that. Yep. BJ. B Jexter. B you could just look at your. I don't have it over here. It's not on this one. It has to be on that one. Mm. BJ Angster. Bajangster. Bajangster. <laughs> the Bajangster. The Bajangster. The Bajangster. <laughs> Welcome you all. No Welcome. love for Pussy and Bio. Pussy and Bio is in the chat. <laughs> Check out our member stream this week for the for the inside joke on that one. Um, wow. Yeah, it, it's basically like a reality show. Um, yeah, it sounds like. But uh, yeah, sometimes... I hope she gets a reality show, or I hope she gets like her own Netflix series out of it. I don't know, man. Because she... this man took her for a fucking ride. Yeah, but she can't be the brightest bulb in the bunch if she's yeah. falling for this kind of stuff. Honestly, like if you had listened to the series, like every everything that she was like, like he's very charming and he's very convincing. And like every time she would be like, he's got to be lying about that. He would like whip out a, a phone and like pretend to be on the phone with someone who would like be like, oh yeah, that, yeah, didn't, I told her, did, didn't that happen? It, it, yeah, it baby. Some Ava Durvaney. Um, uh, Anna, Anna oh, Delvey. Anna, yeah, Anna, Anna Delvey Delvey shit that's so, going on. So the oh. chat, the chat is saying that there's a movie coming out soon called Nikki's Stan, Nikki? Stan Nikki, which apparently sounds similar to what this story is. Huh. I don't think they made a movie that quickly. Off no, 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 no. They didn't. No. This just came out. Yeah. Yeah. But this guy, basically, he'd go on Google Images and he'd like pull up like Chase Bank mm -hmm. statements that were like Photoshopped and he'd show them to her like they were like on his like app. Yeah. And so like he, he, was, he was. And like on his own social media accounts, because there was this whole thing with like him getting pre-approval from Chase Bank for 750000 for that for them to have a home loan. But then he wouldn't show proof of funds. And then. Like it was just, it was all lies. And so on his own social media, he printed out, it's very obviously 
a, a faked yeah. like chase statement saying, Oh, congratulations. You're so credit worthy. And here's, here's <laughs> your, and it was so badly written. And then am I the like, only one thinking that this chick is just not that bright? <laughs> no, this um, is all shit he's doing now I know, oh yeah, well, on yeah. his I, social media. Go ahead. I just need to keep my mouth shut. Because <laughs> <laughs> I hate this kind of shit. Yeah. It just, there's, there's nothing interesting here. Oh. To me, it's just like people, this, this chick sharing stuff that is probably private. Lying. It's just like, I just don't, I just, I, I mean. People do overshare I mean, on social media. Pe people like this kind of stuff. I'm just not one that does. Yeah. Fair enough. So I've, it, said, it I've said my piece. No, it's cool. I'm, it's, it's all good. So, you know, just not for me. Yeah. I hear you. I think this chick's dumb. Yeah. She's pretty <laughs> dumb. I just thought it was really <laughs> funny because I watched all of it in like in basically one sitting. So like I was super paranoid when I, I got was done. <laughs> 50 episodes. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I would have been like part started. one of 50. <laughs> Get out of here. Hell no. I thought the same thing. But then like when the when one would end, I was like, I got to find out what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> and most of it is while she's like filming this while she's like driving to work. Yeah. So it's just like her in a car just telling a story. And there is something about it that is just so sucks you right in. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But you know, at, at this Boom I, bitch. I, Boom I, bitch. I, uh, I find it fascinating what 99% of the internet likes to, to watch. Speaking of, I mean, I, I, I what I apparently there, is I, popular I, on the internet. I, I don't want to fuck. Just, I don't want to watch this there. either. Forty-eight point four million views. Was well, this all those stupid white chicks dancing? Yeah, that's it. Just stupid white well, chicks well, dancing. Well, here's the thing, right? So there were these college girls that went down to New Orleans. Please don't play to have a good time. I mean, th there's there's nothing wrong with this. It's just chicks. It's fucking boring. I don't need the whole screen. Yeah, it's good. I do. Mute it. Oh, no, pause it. All right, because that's it. That's literally it. Just chicks dancing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so like it's it's just these girls who are in Louisiana for Mardi Gras, and they're at a gas station, and they just start line dancing. Right. They're having a good time. They're not like doing anything suggestive, su suggestive or anything like that. And uh, basically, uh, someone puts this up on on Twix, and they're like, you know, uh, why don't men want Western women? That's not a thing. Yeah. First of all. Yeah. yeah. That's stupid. Yeah. Uh, but it, it sparks this whole debate where these people start coming out of the woodworks and accusing these girls of being suggestive and like, you know, how or are they from freaking Iran? Shut the fuck up. It looks like, yeah. it looks like they're doing a <laughs> Yeah, I would like for thing. all of us to shut the fuck up about this and not give this any more attention yeah. because no, nothing is wrong with this. Hard I, pass. All of us in the world have had fun doing shit that doesn't need to have an right. opinion on. Yeah. But it was just surprising how many people came out against this type of thing where they're like, you know, how it's dare these girls <laughs> dance? Like, like, like they're never going to find husbands. Like, oh, all, shut all the, the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, my I mean, God. There's, there's some attractive ones in there. I, yeah. Whatever. No, that's well, a, it's a no. stupid commentary on a stupid video. It stupid doesn't, commentary I don't, on a stupid video. I don't video know why there's, I mean, about. I don't know why people are all pop, popping off about this to begin with. <laughs> I don't fucking give a shit. Go dance. Fuck it. Have fun. Yeah. They're, they're a Mardi Gras. It's like, it's like going to a, Fort Lauderdale on spring break, taking a video. Like, of look, a at these, of look at all these whores. Look at all these whores. <laughs> like, shut much. the fuck up, nerd. <laughs> like, you wish you were there. <laughs> the internet will never miss an opportunity to call a woman a whore. Yeah. So, no, I'm not going to fucking comment no, on this. Fuck. I'm with Jude. Fuck this. I, uh, I mean, I just see a bunch of uh, cheerleaders who probably uh, aren't, no, cheer like, aren't I mean, cheerleaders anymore. I don't give like, a shit. I don't really care. I don't care. Go have fun. Yeah. Have a good time. Enjoy Look at this that. retard. Yeah, whatever. Have fun. Is Fuck it. Was that a dude? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was a dude. And he's having a ball. Dude. Good. So good day. All these women I'm around. Good day. Here. Hell yeah. Yeah, but I, I was just surprised at how much <sighs> outrage surrounded this video because it, I'm not. The internet's full of people who get outraged about dumb shit. Yeah, but I, I mean, like these girls objectively aren't doing anything wrong. You know, like they're not doing anything bad. They're just like there are some cute girls who are dancing. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, look, look at these whores. Look at these women who are never going to get married and stuff like that. Well, it, yeah, it, well, they're not worth it. The people that say that kind of stuff are not happy people. <laughs> so I've, I'm going to get myself in a lot of trouble. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to start saying bad things to people of certain areas in the world. All right. What's next?
Did Jude leave because she's mad, or did no, she leave to get a drink? I, <laughs> okay, I, I can't tell anymore. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you get married. Yeah, that's what happens when you pick a stupid subject like that. Don't let that shit <laughs> slip on my <laughs> fucking <laughs> thumbnail Speaking again. Of stupid subjects. <laughs> uh, we're gonna talk about Sweet Baby Ink. What the fuck is that? Uh, uh, Vader, do you want to? What is Sweet no. Baby Ink? Well, Somebody educate me on this. Sweet Baby Ink is a company formed by a bunch of SJWs. Oh, joy! Who uh, who get hired to consult and wokeify video games i guess right yeah so, basically so they're, they're basically a narrative consulting firm where uh, basically, oh, oh they're a consulting firm yes, oh yes. fuck them <laughs> so, so they get hired by uh video game companies to come in and tell them how to make their uh video games more diverse and equitable don't eat it and yeah. uh and in return this is a big story actually is it, it? In, yeah you should probably pay attention yeah, I'm, I'm listening in, in return these video game studios get more dei money for oh Black, yeah yeah Black okay. Rock and stuff like that okay but what happened recently is uh there was a, a, a person on steam who created a steam group right that all they did was list all the games that sweet baby inc has been yep. involved with which they had already linked on their website yeah, yeah. Are but, they all terrible games? All mostly. Yeah. So, so they're all games that have lost massive amounts of money. It's mm -hmm. like uh, Justice or uh, Suicide Squad kills Justice. League, oh yeah, Starfield, uh -huh. um, like Spider Man, two. Spider Man Two, um, but a bunch of games like the the Halo remake mm -hmm. like, or not Halo remake, um, Fable remake, um, <clears throat> and all this stuff. And so Are they involved in Halo Infinite. Uh, I don't think they're involved in any Halo games. Okay, but they were involved in Starfield, and. Uh, the idea here is is that this guy was basically showcasing all the games that they worked on on Steam, and his curation list just blew up with followers, like seventy thousand followers, something like that. Yeah, I'm a member. And it's uh, like one hundred eighty thousand. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Real old movies says, bro, it's all over Twitter. How have you he not heard about it? I, I don't have Twitter. I opened Twitter once to. Kate, to, Kate to, and I are. The I opened on Twitter, Twitter once this week to say. Hell divers, load up. We're gonna plant some freedom seeds. Like I that's I don't I don't care most of the time. Now, if this company comes after games that I like, and I understand well, why if they come why. after games where people like other people like these games and these people and this company comes and consults them to death, I I understand why you'd be pissed about it. I just well, I haven't read about it. This well, is the first well, I'm hearing but, about but, it. But here's here's the thing. So Sweet Baby Inc., the people who are involved in in at the head of this company and who work at it, um, are what um the the Twitterati are calling uh, quote unquote cancel pigs. Twitterati, yeah. Twitterati. Um, What's that? The, the very pe active people on Twitter who have influence. Like the paparazzi yeah, for Twitter, whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, the idea here is is that these guys are very good at not only pressuring companies into mm -hmm. hiring them, a la Anita Sarkeesian tactic. Yeah, thank you for Anita, Anita Sarkeesian back in the GamerGate stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. was successful. Yeah, yeah, and actually pulled it off and made a company that and they. Yeah. Yeah. So, so so these guys are are threatening to blackmail companies if they don't hire them. But secondly, they're also trying to cancel people who, who are calling them out, like actively cancel them. Right. So this guy who created the the, the Steam curation list, uh, he's a black Brazilian guy. And he's, they came after him saying that he was a white supremacist who was <laughs> spreading racism. I, I don't look at him and say, Oh, that guy's black. <laughs> but but yeah. But uh so uh they they start coming after this guy who all his only crime was listing the games that they uh, were involved in, uh -huh. and so everyone's looking at this curation list and they're like, we're not going to buy these games anymore, right. and so they're coming out on the attack trying to spin the situation, but the fact of the matter is is that they've they've screwed up so many video games and they're going to screw up a lot more that they've been hired on to, that uh, it could be the end of their company if people just by and large start boycotting them, right? And so there's been this big dust up online. About Pete, about the people at Sweet Baby Inc. coming after the people who aren't going to buy their games and calling them racist, sexist, like bigots, all this stuff. But while their games have been objectively terrible, as well, so, can't, uh, can't these companies just tell this consulting firm to pound rocks? Well, like, what are they so afraid of? Well, that's that's the whole thing. The the, the gamers out there that are mm -hmm. signing on to this group and all kind of all this kind of stuff, they're tired of this stuff. Yeah, everybody's so, tired. So they're of this putting shit. this list together. Yeah. And like people are like refunding these games now. They're not they're they're actively not purchasing their there's if they have a yeah, if a, if a company they're, they're like, hates you as a human yeah. being, don't buy their shit. It's like don't exactly. And right? all this all this is it's basically a boycott list. Don't wow. don't don't buy these games. Don't buy these games because like, these okay. people actively Cause, hate you. Because because they they active. That's it. 
Yeah. They actively hate you and they're doing yeah, don't buy can. shit from people who actively hate you. Right. And that's all. Yeah. That's all that's all that's going I just, on. I'm I, I'm especially in this day and age, like early on, I could see why, oh, we gotta follow the rules. We gotta like, but this stuff is so out in the open. And yeah. this 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 train has come and gone multiple times in, in Gamergate, Comics Gate, all this stuff is, it's happened over and over and over again. So I am confused. Well, the, as to why they still have power to make people do shit they don't want to do. They're, they're calling this Gamergate 2.0 yeah. simply because um, there's this faction of DEI reliant people online mm -hmm. who are in the video game industry who are coming out actively attacking anyone who's going after Sweet Baby Inc. And it, it's the battle lines have been drawn and it's basically consumer versus agenda. Mm -hmm. And well, guess the, who's going to win? The exactly. people who spend the money. <laughs> you would think so, but <laughs> video game companies keep hiring these people to destroy their games for them. Well, it's not going to last forever. One of these days, the bottom line is going to be the bottom line. They're going to be like, we can't do this shit anymore. We're losing too much money. It's it, Eventually, that's going to happen with every company. It, it started happening with Netflix. It definitely happened with Spotify when yeah. they brought Joe Rogan on. And everybody was like, whoa, Joe Rogan's a fascist. And they were like, get the fuck out. So it's already happening. Like These companies are already saying, enough is enough. Shut the hell up. I mean, but this is, this is the company that's going into games like spider-man 2 yeah putting in stupid shit like the death level <laughs> it's like oh you get to play this game as a deaf person i mean there's and it's not even you're not even playing spider-man or the, these are the people that's like make a uh, mary jane a badass so she's all like john wick and shit in the, in the video games like nobody <laughs> but, 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 this, but not only make any sense not only it's make just, mary jane a badass mm -hmm. make her ugly <laughs> yeah <laughs> make her a fuggo <laughs> you know it's like she's not supposed to be ugly i don't know with man. a prominent man i, just, chin. I, I see this <laughs> like, I, Jesus I, like I, I i understand the frustration i understand if you're big into gaming and, and you're like i mean same thing with movies anything yeah. anything that has these like weird nonsensical consulting firms that are like forcing this nonsense yeah. down people's it's throats. like hell divers like, too going hey sweet baby can you come in and check out our game and they're like well if you made the starship trooper people a little less masculine <laughs> and you tone down the you rhetoric mean, a little bit. You mean when I'm and you, holding and down you, and the trigger made, on a machine and gun? You made, and you, maybe you made those bugs a little less, <laughs> a little less. What if they uh, were the good guys? Crazy. What if the bugs, bugs were the good guys? the bugs more, more <laughs> matriarchal. Yeah. It would be better. Yeah. You know, this is what these, these games. I get are. it. I get it. Tell them to pound rocks. Are yeah. the bugs non-binary? Yeah. 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 It's well, like, the bugs should those be. Bugs need if anybody's going to be non-binary, it would be a bug. Those bugs definitely need pronouns. <laughs> and you need to put some Z's M's and some they them's in there. You know what? And that kind of shit. That's what that's what's going on. I understand. I understand. I'm so. just as a as a guy who's look from the outside looking in, I don't get like you run a company. We have a company here. Mm -hmm. If somebody came in and said this we, this well, this, this crew right up. here, this crew can't work because there's not enough diversity exactly. here. I'd be like, fuck off. That could happen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's no HR. Pound company. rocks, man. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I hired, we get, the, am, we get the I'm, best people. I am the HR department. <laughs> Do we? I, yeah. I am the HR department. <laughs> <laughs> I just, the, eventually yeah. that's going to happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen. These people are bending over backwards because they're spineless and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We know that eventually the winning team is going to be the one where the money is spent. And if these people are sick and tired of losing money because their products yeah. suck and nobody wants to play with them, eventually that'll change. Right. But the, takes time. The difference here is that by hiring this company, the uh, companies get money from BlackRock right. and Vanguard. And so, like, they don't have to be profitable. They've already gotten paid just for doing the DEI stuff. Uh, but the threat of future unprofitability might be enough to sway that. But right now, it, it isn't. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, it's, a, it's going to be a long But game. But the biggest thing is basically this company is coming after people online who are criticizing them and mm -hmm. simply pointing out the games that they worked on. Right. And they're, they're trying very hard to get them all canceled and deplatformed. And stuff I just, like I joined the group on Steam just for fun. It's like, bring it. <laughs> Let's see what you got. I might, might activate, it, it, might activate my Twitter a little bit harder this week it, just to fuck with these people. <laughs> well, they won't see it because they've they've blocked all. Of oh, they turn comments off. They turn comments off, and they they you can't. Yeah, I love it. I private, love it when they private it all the sweet baby. I, I, I love it when like uh, they, can, they can they can spew it, but they can't take it. But back. they can't take it. Yeah, man. And that's and that's another part of the problem. It's like it's like if you're gonna talk shit, you be prepared. You, you be prepared <laughs> because you know these. You know, oh, these, these to me, these these are the people. These people are the enemy. Yeah, 
the I'm with you. Enemy. I'm with you. And, I just uh, laugh at them. I don't can't, I can't take them seriously. No, I can't. I understand that they're a big deal and I understand that it's, it's affecting the industry for sure. I'm not trying to belittle that, but I'm just yeah. saying like when, when, when a company named sweet baby Inc right. comes at you and it's says weird, you right? need to freaking up your, your percentage of whatever the hell their check marks are. Yeah. I'm like, Pfft. You should just your company should be called DEI and Associates or something yeah, like that. I mean they're they're I mean they're basically just hoodwinking people out of money yeah. is what it sounds like. But um, well, I hate consulting. They're not just too. hoodwinking them. They're actually going in and rewriting the story and giving yeah. developers notes about what to do in their games. And it, <laughs> well, you should. What is that a game for everybody? Is a game for nobody? Then you should hire them, get, take their notes, and then go harder on the stuff that they go hate. opposite. Go opposite yep. of that. That would be perfect. You'll make up any money that you're getting from BlackRock. That's right. That's right. Just from people buying shit. It's Look like, at Hell Divers. Not a single nonsensical woke thing. In fact, you're fighting for freedom and democracy, and it's freaking gangbusters right now. You could go buy that game. Go support that that team of people because they know what they're doing. <laughs> that is funny. I don't know. This shit's so weird. Ugh. People gross me out. Leave us alone. Let us play games. <laughs> That's all we want to do. What, dude? Nothing. <laughs> what are you laughing at me for? I was looking at something on my phone. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> she's, she's finding a new 50-part thing to watch. A 50-part 50, 50 series of how... I fucking wish. How I got hoodwinked some, by some liar. Some dumb bitch that married to a <laughs> con artist. <laughs> yeah. She's going to complain about it online? Yeah. Oh, that boy. Uh, what did Mark Cuban step in this time? Oh, with the Jake... Pa I don't want to watch this. Oh. I saw this clip already. It's so stupid. Let me talk to you about uh, how to run a business. Yeah, man. Well, what's funny is, so like Mark Cuban was on the Impulsive podcast and he basically uh, came out and talked about how X is terrible because he can't ever win an argument on X anymore. <laughs> uh, ba basically, he said that Elon's ruined X because of community notes and allowing too much free speech. <laughs> and he's like, I like to go on Facebook and Instagram and threads because at least you can still troll people on there. You can't do that on X anymore. And then uh, everyone uh, on X starts uh, ragging on him for like, you, you know, basically not being able to uh, defend his really stupid positions on uh, on platform where people are actually allowed to speak their mind. Yeah, God forbid people should have free speech. That's I guess that's his that's his flag in the sand. Yeah, he, he he's like, I don't like free speech because it ruins my arguments. Yeah. Yeah, because people are better at arguing than you are. Well, uh, so, so this guy, he's multi-billionaire. Yeah, right? sure. He's kind of up there with Elon Musk in terms of like how much money he has. Mm, no. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, well, you know, on, he, let's look it up. Yeah, he is <laughs> a billionaire. What's the net worth of Elon Musk? <laughs> but uh, it was funny because he came out in defense of DEI. Yeah. You know, not well, yeah, he's been doing this for a while. And yeah. it's it's like and, a, a and I, I think Elon responded to him. It's like, when's the last time you uh, hired a short Asian man to play for the Mavericks, <laughs> you know, which is a basketball team yeah. and uh, basically just like completely nuked uh, his his rationale. And it's it's kind of funny. Well, didn't he? Mark Cuban got yelled at by some professional uh, uh, like. HR person like who like handles like you, hey, this is how you have to hire people. This is how, you can't fire people because of this. You can't hire people because of this. And Mark Cuban got an argument with him. He's like, no, bro, I know the law. The, you're breaking the law by doing what you're saying you're doing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna hire this person because she's a she's a great black lady. Like, well, you can't hire just because of that. And they're he's like, no, yeah, I can. Like, no, dude, that's illegal to do that. <laughs> well, that's what they want you to do. Uh, people are so stupid. Well, the net worth. So Elon Musk is worth two hundred billion. Yeah. Uh, Mark Cuban's worth six billion. Yeah. So he's got a little catching up to do. <laughs> well, but he is a billionaire. He's a billionaire, though. I'm not saying he's not a billionaire. I'm not saying he's not. Yeah. But he does. He made he, some money. He can't fucking hold Elon's jockstrap. So I, I just I don't get this pushback on like. Well, I mean, Mark Cuban's an idiot. I don't get this pushback on freedom of speech. I don't, I don't understand it. Like, why, why? You're upset that people can say whatever they want to you. Welcome to the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like I, if I go to Subway and some dude walks in and calls me a freaking retard because I have my my jacket rolled up or something like that, I'm like, yeah, okay, man, you're a douche. Thanks. Did you did you see? <laughs> it's like, I, like what do you want me to say? Oh, oh, you're allowed to say it. I'm not gonna like you for it, did but you whatever. See the Australian Karen. No, with, there's no Australian with, Karen with the Happy Meal guy. No. Oh, what happened? Oh, can you pull that up? Can we? I can try. <laughs> Yeah, Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's this is next level. What happened? Tell me about it before. So I was there's this it guy up. sitting at this table at McDonald's, right? Uh huh. Just he's got a Happy Meal. 
because it's what he could afford to buy and he likes a happy meal. Right. And this fucking bitch comes up with her phone and basically says, what's that? Why did you have a happy meal? Basically, he's accusing him of being a pedophile and trying to attract children because the guy's eating a happy meal. Eating a happy meal. Look, man, it's, it's efficiency. It's crazy. <laughs> it's cheap. You know, it's like five bucks for a happy meal. You get a burger, some nuggets, a drink. It's just the, the, the whole <laughs> thing about this day and age where people think they can just approach you when you're trying to eat your food and start accusing you of things yeah. on a camera. Yeah. is it's cause, wild because nobody gets it's hit in the wild. face anymore <laughs> I, I really hope he finds this because it's 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 pretty ins- it's funny but it's insane that people have the stones to, well to do this shit my days. question is has it always been like that and we just don't see it because they didn't no. have cameras until the last no, 20 years this, this is this is a that's my question this is, like i feel like a lot of this stuff has always been around that's not it like a lot of this stuff has always been around but we people just didn't have cameras on every single piece of technology that they carry around in their pocket, right? Yeah. And now we're just seeing people, it. People are people are like trying to try and purposely do things for TikTok for clicks. Well, I, I love it when I see these these douchebag pranksters who are like pulling pranks on people that they, they don't want to be pranked, man. They're not into yeah. this, and they're like they're doing it for the views. They're trying to I, like they'll put buckets on top of people's heads at Home Depot yeah. and run away. I'm like, every once in a while you get a video of somebody trying to do that something, and they're, they they're, get freaking trounced by some there, there was another video go making rounds this week of this asshole in new york who was going around trying to do stone cold stunners to people oh jesus, jesus that's Christ. a good way to get uh, shot you know just yeah. old people young people oh people in, in the subway and it was just i will shoot you if you oh, if I somebody comes up if somebody comes up to me and tries to do that shit mm-hmm. especially and then i find out on top of that and being crazy they're also I'll go like this they're also video cameraing me <laughs> like just, yeah dude no you're gonna get hurt you're gonna be yeah. in the hospital it's like, I mean, we we make videos. We do stupid shit. But you know what we don't do is we don't go out and we don't. I don't hound people. We don't hound people. We no. don't interfere with people's lives. We just do stupid stuff <laughs> amongst each other. This is, I saw this video one time. This uh, It was this guy. He was on the like, street side. Remember when Jimmy Kimmel used to do that shit where you'd go on the, out on the Hollywood Boulevard and just like talk to random people and ask them random questions? This this dude is trying to do the same thing. He's probably got a YouTube channel. Remember when that. Jennifer Lawrence wasn't that famous? And yeah, she was like, can you like, name five Jennifer yeah. Lawrence movies? Like, no. <laughs> Yeah, Jennifer kind of, Aniston though she's that, really good. That kind of thing, right? <laughs> this guy comes out there and he's asking this this these this group of ladies that are walking from one bar to the next or whatever. Hey, what's the dumbest thing anybody has ever tried to do to get with you? And she's like, ask me random questions on the street with a microphone, and she just walks <laughs> away. And I'm like, boom. What's that one? Send him. A, can you email him a link? He'll just pop it up. Yeah, just email it to me. Um, I don't know, man. People people don't have. I don't know. People don't have the respect they used to. You used to get punched in the face for doing dumb things to people. I got punched in the nose <laughs> for, for sticking, sticking my, my face. face and other people's business. business. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when that was a thing? Sounds like a country <laughs> so, song. Yeah, man. That's when people knew how to not mess with other people. They were like, oh, I'm not going to do that. That going to punch me in the face. Nowadays, go ahead, punch me. We'll sue you. <laughs> Remember that scene in Rocky, what is it, six? Can I just text it to you? Rocky six. Oh, no, email it. Yeah, you gotta, it's on his computer, bro. You got to email it to him. The guy who said he's a technophile. I didn't say that. <laughs> I said I was a bad one. He loves technology. He loves technology. Can't use it. Don't email Don't me, though. Me. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. I'm going to take a minute to address the chat. We've got 80 people watching for some reason. I don't know. These topics are Thank weird. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Hanging out here. we got real old movies. I think she was from the Neighborhood Watch, if I remember correctly. Oh, I've seen some videos on Instagram of like a HOA HOA person coming and knocking on somebody's door because their package has been sitting out for too long or something like that. And I can't tell if it's a parody. I know. And I'm like, is this I guy see for real? I a lot of these. And and I, a lot of, like, it's 50-50. Yeah, it's like, are they for real right now? Or are they just messing with us and, like, making fake videos about, like, obnoxious HOA people? And I'm like, I think they're real. It's crazy. I can't handle it. I, I would never live in a house with HOA. I would dri- it would drive me crazy. Uh, this frame rate issue is unnerving it's like a bad john Woo movie. oh you know what I'm very no. sorry yeah no, just forget it i sent you an asmon gold fucking video of him watching the video <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe it. don't worry about it tell tell you, me more about it though is that it email it to me i did too i certainly did refresh let's see what okay, okay there we go it. i got it but you should be able to find it it's an artistic choice you literally just type in happy meal karen and it'll come up happy meal karen yeah 
they are real. Wendy Hunter says they're real. I don't know. They're too obnoxious. How can, how can I don't understand how people can be that obnoxious. Like, hey, excuse me, here's your fine. Yeah. Because you left your package out for too long in the front door. Like, bro. It's got this big potato looking chick. Everybody wants to feel like the they're powerful. The and yeah. the HOA. Hey, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. That scared the shit out of it me. It did. <laughs> All right, turn the volume. I don't want to hear this lady screeching. No, you need to. You need to hear I don't. Me. I don't want to suffer. Why do I have to suffer, Vader? Is this the right one? Guys? I don't know. I don't know. What? Vader, this is your thing. Take my money. No, no, that's, not, no that's, that's not it. That's not it. Oh God! If I, ugh. Oh. you're like, you ever want to hate right humanity? This one. Man can't buy a happy meal. I right there. Go home. There we go. Okay, hold that's on. That's the one. We gotta. Oh, this, this is just ridiculous. Everything. Yeah. We got to show the people who are watching with us. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You got it? Yep. All right. Producer yeah. extraordinaire. <laughs> it's none of your business. I'm eating my lunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very happy now. Why? Sorry. Why are you getting cheese? Sorry. Yeah, her obnoxious accent. Menu, but it's not really any of your business, is it? I'm trying Where's to have my your, lunch. Sorry, where are your children? Who said this is for children? <laughs> it's a happy meal. Sorry, I, just, like, it's not, just I mean, this is a little weird. No, it's not. If I go to McDonald's. Also, mind your own fucking business. Yeah, that, that man wants to eat his lunch, let him eat his lunch. For sure. Also, for sure. I'd like to point out he's not actually eating that. He might what, be waiting for a kid to come up and eat it. it yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Listen, it's not question. even open. I'm, I've seen enough. We're, we're good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I get the point. Um, I would ask. May, I would probably. I'm I not going to walk up I would to tell that bitch to get the fucking step in. Sure, for sure, I agree with you. But she has no devil's group. advocate. No, I would no, probably there's no devil's advocate. In this. Look, man, if you're if I you buy, want, I buy. I my hear they wife got sweet toys in there. <laughs> if I go to McDonald's and I call my wife up, she goes, "Give me a happy meal." I'm like, okay, yeah, for sure. That doesn't make me a fucking pedo. No, of course not. Course. That means my wife likes a cheeseburger and a small fry. But why didn't you just order a cheeseburger and a small fry? Because maybe we want the toy. Also, <laughs> maybe you want the toy. If <laughs> you are a pedo, you're not doing it outside of McDonald's. I don't know. Some of those creeps might. I don't know, dude. The, the, I'm not saying fact, she's right. Fact, I'm not saying she's right. The fact that people have the nerve and the gall. The camera thing pisses me off. With your camera, I don't want strangers to talk people. to me ever. Yeah. No, no I'm good. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's, unless, it's, you, unless you walk up to me randomly in a coffee shop and go, hey, man, I like your podcast. I'd be like, oh, thanks. Yeah. Other than that, yeah, I'm yeah. Good, if somebody walks up to me, <laughs> like a stranger walks up to me, and they've got their phone like this, oh, I, I would immediately be like, "Oh shit, what am I doing right? Now? <laughs> what did I do wrong? Wrong? <laughs> yeah, oh, I'd no. be like, oh god, what is she videoing me for? Like, oh, that's a nice Galaxy S uh, five. I'm gonna freaking take that from you. Thank you. <laughs> you want your phone back? You can fuck off. <laughs> you ever like walking down the street in Vegas, and there's some guy. With with a thing and with a gimbal, yeah, and you're, like, <laughs> and you're just like, I've been that guy. <laughs> I went down to the strip to watch the NASCAR race, and I was sitting yeah. there with a, like my, you know, looking at the yeah. phone. Everybody had their phones out though; sure. it wasn't like a weird thing. Sure, uh, I don't know, dude. People are weird. People are stupid. Excuse and, uh, me, and, and people. Excuse me. <laughs> Is that a happy meal? Her heart was in the oh right my God. place. She was that, looking out for. Like, <laughs> why do you have a happy meal for? <laughs> you're a grown man. Why do you have a, that's all I can afford, bitch. <laughs> it's the cheapest thing on the menu. It's the cheapest thing on the menu. Fuck off. You know what that really looks like, you fucking pedo bitch. Yeah. yeah it's just like, uh, I just, it's, it's so Hold on. Two dollar super chat for William Forbes. I ordered the Happy Meal exclusively for the toy. I hear they're awesome. <laughs> no, I hear no. they're great. You get that you, toy, you, man. You get you, that toy. Mm-hmm. Order a freaking Happy Meal if you want a Happy Meal. I cannot remember the last time I was at McDonald's. I mean, same. Because nobody can afford to no. buy anything at McDonald's anymore. Yeah. Except the Happy Meal. Dude, you know, at Wendy's, Except the, Happy Meal. At Wendy's the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger used to be a buck. I used to get it's Happy like, Meal. Like I, think, I, think, I think it was like a, oh, think two bucks hard. for Is a Happy Meal. more than 250 now? Yeah. Didn't, didn't Wendy's do this thing where they start charging like 20 times the amount on their. Uh, oh, they were going to. They were doing. They were going to thinking about doing oh, the merge price per hour, right? They were it was like if you come model. between these hours, the prices are like twenty percent more. Honestly, that's fair. But I'm is. like, what? If I, think- I listen, if I'm going to Wendy's past eleven at night, that's fair. I'll pay it. <laughs> I really need it. <laughs> Those value tacos that Del Taco should go up to like four dollars. Yeah, oh yeah, man! I'll pay it. Oh my god! I'll pay it. 
I this, think, those like, slimy, gross freaking tacos that you eat. When you're, I so need good. it at that point. <laughs> I need it. Supply <laughs> and demand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like the tacos. surcharges for Uber. I really yeah. need that too. Yeah. Well, I don't know, man. These... <laughs> you ever had an Uber driver take you through a drive through No, you can do that? Yeah. They'll do it? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Will they order I'm for you? Like, do you want something to eat too? <laughs> do want, I got you, do bro. Want <laughs> do you want a taco? Do you want a taco? Okay. You want a taco? <laughs> <laughs> no, ma'am, I'm good. Yeah, I'm gonna get him a taco too. <laughs> he doesn't want one, but I'm gonna get it for it anyway. Yeah, you can have it later. You he'll, don't have to eat, eat it. Now. He'll eat it. <laughs> but but then you know he's gonna eat it. You're gonna, gonna, eat it. You're gonna get some <laughs> fat blonde British bitch come up to you and go, She's "Excuse Australian. me, excuse me. You know that fillet of fish was not ethically farmed. <laughs> that is not farm fresh fish." <laughs> Be like, bitch, you don't look like you farm fresh nothing. <laughs> you know, those fries are not farmed in ethically produced oil. Oh, God. It's like, shut up. People are annoying. Shut Can we have up. a segment where you just complain about humanity for a little bit? Oh, yeah. We do that Listen, a lot. We all were like, oh, God, it's COVID. People are going to die. And then once the COVID flu. ended, we were all like, when are we going to get another plague to kill off these people that we hate? Jude just got us demonetized. <laughs> she said the c she word the c sorry word. you can say Clove cunt it. all you want whoa, dude whoa, whoa. you could say that you guys are getting off the rails well you can't say the coof it's against sorry. the rules I'm sorry because this is not a free speech friendly platform well, well hey apparently it's just like another flu now that's right oh yeah that's totally let's not get it let's not <laughs> don't 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 don't, 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 don't. So if i freaking go off go on stop. this nonsense th this is a movie podcast where people come to escape yeah yeah <laughs> talk about i also don't want to talk about i don't want to talk I don't want to talk about any of this stuff. Do we have anything left? Where we're going to wrap up? I'm going to shoot the shit for a couple minutes, and we're going to wrap up. Talk about Universal versus TikTok, but we can talk about whatever you want. Yeah, I don't care about TikTok. Is there anything? So Dunes Two is out, which we I've been looking forward to that for like three months. Yeah, we watched it last night. Yeah. What is what is next? Ghostbusters. Oh, I'm excited for that, dude. We saw the trailer at the theater the other night. Popcorn bucket they came out with for that. Oh, it's Slimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw that? You were like, oh, look, it's a Slimer bucket. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm down. That movie looks great. I saw the trailer again last night, and I was like, "This is how you do it, guys." Mm -hmm. This is why I think the tide is turning. I think things are slowly I mean, working back into but, but, like, here, let's not fuck up people's favorite franchises. I, 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 do you disagree? Buster makes me feel good. Buster makes me feel good, man. <laughs> that's a little. Much. That's a little bit too. Fourth no, wall. no, dude, it's a little bit much. No, fourth wall is is uh, Bill Murray showing up saying, "Can I be of any help?" <laughs> uh, that that's fourth wall breaking. Like, oh look, it's Bill Murray. No, uh, no. Buster makes me feel good. That's some good stuff right there. I, that's what I'm saying, man. I, I I feel like the tides are changing. I feel like people. You know, are, the, people are the changes are tiding yeah the changes are tiding i yeah. think people are getting the idea that like hey if we keep messing around like this we're we're all gonna be broke well broke. i mean i think there's some people in the studios that are actually seeing that their woke movies don't make money mm -hmm. disney yeah. disney's gonna be the last i don't one care how much movies. black rock feeds you under the table for checking boxes it cannot be enough to offset losing oh. hundreds of millions of dollars on a movie it just doesn't make any sense they have a lot of money they do have a lot of money we make money so i think they own like most of the casinos down here People just don't know that. Wendy's super chat says, uh, Wendy's been a member for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, Wendy's Wendy's has a four by four meal. You need to ask for it. What's four, that? Four to four. To four. Intriguing. Four for four dollars. Oh, for, oh yeah. Uh, oh, Wendy's also has the uh, the lunch bag seven dollar bucket or a bag or whatever lunch bag something like that uh -huh. for seven bucks. You get like a burger. You get nuggets. You get uh, like a couple other things. I like their breakfast. French fries and a drink for like seven bucks. Huh. And it, it, you just—it's the same thing for everything. It's just hey, give me the seven dollar bag. They're two for three dollar sausage biscuits are pretty bomb. Uh, Wendy's is the place to go. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite fast food joint? Mine's Wendy's. I oh, love Wendy's. No, In and Out. In and Out. Yeah, I do yeah. like In and Out. Ugh. There's no. I there's can, no. I don't ever want to sit what? in that line. You've been to Arburger. What? Arburger is supposed to be badass. Arburger is badass, yeah. bro. Did you go with Tom? Of course I did. I knew it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he got me into it. Yeah. Dude, it's right down the street from my house. I know. Never I'm like, it. Arburger. Man, I've driven past this place 10 million times since yeah. I've lived here. I've never actually gone in. Yeah. So Tom took me there for lunch one day and I was like, oh my God. Yeah. I'm like, I, I think In N Out is way overrated. I've thought well, that since I've moved out here. You're a fucking Philip. I'm an East Coast guy. So. I came out here to the West Coast. I was like, go try In N Out. And you know what? And I tried it and I'm like, eh, it's fine. I really like Freddie's Fast Burger too. Or uh, Freddy's Steak Burger. Freddy, oh, Dude, okay. Yeah. These are fucking $10 hamburgers. What do you mean? 
at Arbor. What the fuck's on here? Oh, but they're freaking. That's that gourmet like, shit. That, no, they're so I'm not, that's too much. It's a Royale with cheese. It's a Royale with cheese, bro. You ain't messing around with Arbor. That's gourmet shit. That's some real shit. Mm-hmm. No. I'm going to take you. You want to go mean, today? I mean, I don't care. I can you take you and I'm sure you want to you go over and have our burger? <laughs> $5.59. Okay, that's not bad. I'll, I'll $8.99 for an Arbor. No. Bro, it's so good. But it's, it's, I'm sure they are it's good. It's 10 times better than but freaking in and out. You said fast food. So that's fast food. Two dollars super chat from William Forbes. Jude got life hacks. Uber driver through the Hell through yeah. mind blown. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's called multitasking. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you got to get home safe. You got to get home with a full belly. Yeah. You want you want a taco? Want I'll taco? get you a taco. <laughs> I'll get you a taco. Good. No, I'm fine, man. I'm gonna burrito? get you a taco. Are you a burrito man? Yeah. You look like a burrito man. William Forbes says Taco Bell all day. Nope. This is gar- <laughs> it's garbage, but God, I love it. Forbes, I love you, man. But um, Taco Bell is instant diarrhea. No, man. That's the freaking Crunchwrap Supreme. No, those are- <laughs> no. That Del is Taco, next level. Del that Taco is- for me I will, is superior to Taco Bell. I will never go to Del Taco, ever. You, you serve Taco tacos Bell. and hamburgers in the same joint. You don't do either one well. Yeah. That's not true. They're both good. <laughs> I've I had disagree. food poisoning. Yeah, but you, you don't From like Del Taco, like, you know, I still go. You're crazy. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know where the chicken is, but I, I am, still go. <laughs> I am questioning your taste in food. No, dude. If you're doing tacos and burgers, you're not doing either of them well. You you got to have a, this is what we do. That's, we oh, do I burgers. I you there, but you know, it's not hard to make a burger. This is how we do yeah. it. No, Taco Bell's like, we do tacos. And and the burger joints but, are know, like we do oh, hamburgers. <laughs> I don't know why we're talking. Yeah, Taco Bell's like, what else but, do we do with this? <laughs> How you else? Wanna, you want to make it weird? They were like, they were like, listen. But what about Dorito flavored shake? <laughs> Dorito flavored shake. People buy it, right? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's just see. <laughs> what hey, Mountain Blue Baja Blast, baby. Yeah, we got yeah. some extra. Come on over and get Baja Blasted. <laughs> <laughs> We got, we got some extra bags of flaming That's hot name. chicos. That's my next name. Baja Blast. Baja Blast. Jesus. Put <laughs> in bio. Yeah, Taco, Taco Bell is gross, man. It's gross. No, hard. I love the Crunchwrap Supreme. Sometimes, you cannot beat that. Sometimes you need it. I will say Del Taco is pretty good for fries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me see this. Nerdy Neo says something important here. Let I do love say. a curly Anytime Nerdy Neo though. talks, I got to listen. Nerdy Neo says, I stopped eating Taco Bell when they got rid of the half their menu, and that's where all the good stuff yep. was. And Cheritos. <sighs> I haven't been there in a you while. remember like the 50 cent, 75 cent. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. <clears throat> Dude, a, a bean and cheese burrito used to be like 25 cents. You just freaking pile up on a couple of those. You're in good. high school, if you wanted to fight someone, you met them at the Taco Bell. I, really? I, will, I will say yeah. this, though. Like, I think Burger King is like underrated in terms of like <laughs> it's kind of gross. how good their stuff is. <laughs> Our chat's going off on, this, on yeah. the food thing. Yeah, that's how that's that's what it took. <laughs> Be- just talk beefy, about fast food. Beefy burrito, chicken quesadilla, so and have, soft shell taco 10, supreme. We have people watching. Throw in some Diablo, Diablo sauce. Get it every Saturday. My man. Yeah. <laughs> Victor knows. Girl, get it. <laughs> or, you know, Inferno sauce and, and six, oh, dude. six No, you know what? You know what lights my ass on fire is the freaking spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. I love oh, them. Those are pretty good. I love Shit, them. That's a but, good sandwich. My God. About three hours later, I'm like, oh. <laughs> This is this a bad is, plan. This is, this is a great ending to our This life. is a great ending. This I made great. myself a little poor man's uh, <laughs> buffalo chicken salad. Oh, yeah? Day. I did like some shredded chicken. Mm. I did some buffalo sauce, little ranch, <laughs> put it over a salad. It was delish. Dude. What? what? Says, I got my first hand job in a Del Taco. Oh, so good I like you. it, but it's not the food. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like it. Yeah. That one wins. <laughs> I'm going to end the stream on that. Yeah, I'm going to leave that chat up and that's, just end the stream. That's, that's to, what an I got. Old, to an Cheers. old fashioned. <laughs> so, <laughs> to an old fashioned. To a Del Taco hand job. <laughs> Del Taco handy. Oh, be cool, honey bunny. All right, folks. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us today. Cool. We're going we're gonna to call it a DTH. <laughs> DTHJ? A DTH. <laughs> Del Taco hand job. <laughs> that's what an old fashioned is. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Give oh. me an old fashioned. Give me an old fashioned. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Well, you put sound effects and everything on there. Yeah. That's, that's if you put it gross. with lube. Oh, that, that, that's with the hot sauce. That's with the hot sauce. Mild. A spicy. You, mild. <laughs> you, got, a, you, got, a, you got a raw dog. Got <laughs> spicy hand job. You, you don't put that in the inferno on that. You want some Diablo sauce on that? <laughs> no. We're no. going to continue this conversation in the members only in stream. The members stream. If you are a member of the channel, you will automatically get transferred. If you don't, go to saltynerdvideo.com. 
or saltynerdlive.com. Sorry, saltynerdlive.com. We will be there live here in a few minutes. For Hopefully with a better frame rate. Yeah, we're, oh, dude, we got to get this shit figured out. Work in progress. Work in progress. All right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Really do appreciate it. Go get your Del Taco hand jobs this weekend. We will talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. Stay salt. Tell your hey, Uber. folks, thanks so much for watching this live stream. If you want to watch our previous live stream, make sure to click right here. Or if you would like to check out one of our favorite highlights, click right here.